It's the month of March, and this month, Streaming Things is brought to you by Chester Copperpot, Trey Barrera, Conrad, Luke and Sarah, Dave Malfara, Rabbit Dog in a Barbie Car, Jose Ruben Cruz Rodriguez, Thomas Alexander, Emmy, Joe Velez, Valerie, Stanton Valentino, Aaron Layton, Crystal Trujillo, John Collins Goes, Andrew Gray, Jen Robinson, Kate, Chloe Richardson, Kalisha Reeves, Kiki Newton, Kevin Strother, Jeanette Murphy, Casey McCain, and Enza. Welcome back. My name is Misty. My name is Misty. And my name is Misty as well. And this is Streaming Things, continuing our coverage of Yellow Jackets season one. This is the finale, the end, the denouement. We're going to talk about scene by scene, play by play, everything that goes down. We're going to talk about our favorite moments. We're going to talk about some Easter eggs people might have missed. Maybe they didn't from the 90s. Then we'll talk about our favorite performance of the ultimate episode of season one. And we're going to do all of that while wearing misty wigs and outfits. Mm. People on the YouTube can already tell shit is going down. Yes. Mm. Yeah, these we we bought matching wigs that are somehow very different from each other. <laughs> uh, like, why does Madison look like she's about to leave a Yelp review? <laughs> I'd like to speak to your manager, please. Oh, no. Why does Steve look like Mrs. Doubtfire? And why does Chris look like such a slut? <laughs> <laughs> because Chris is a slut. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Any hoozle. I just we, want to say real quick before we move on from this visual, y'all look great. <gasps> Thank you. Y'all look great. I love your glasses. They look like little cat ears kind Thank of at you. the top. Yeah, it's purposeful. It's like, yeah, intentional. And yours? Are those like your glasses? I own these, but they are not prescription. They are, I think, UV blue lights. That's, yeah, that's what yeah. I wear for the TikToks. UV lights. Yep. yep. I should have brought mine. I didn't get glasses. Now I'm just a, a, I'm a, I'm like a Lame. jinkies Misty. You're like modern day Misty who got LASIK. I'm like jinkies. I can't <laughs> see without my glasses. <laughs> oh no. Where's the ghost? <laughs> so we decided this was actually Madison's idea, right? To dress yeah. Up Madison like had this idea yeah. in what, like episode three or four? Oh, I really, been, I just, I love wigs. She's been plotting this. I have. For yeah. a long time. And even though it's been a long time, I procrastinated and never got scrubs. <laughs> but I do have this fuck off sweater that I think fits Misty pretty yeah, well. Yeah, Misty would definitely wear that. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a total Misty sweater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the finale of season one. We're only, uh, as we as we record this, um, less than a week away, six days away or so yep. um, from the uh, premiere of season two. Uh, if you subscribe to Showtime, the streaming app, if you are on cable or satellite or whoever the fuck's doing that, then... <laughs> And you have to wait till Sunday, the 26th. Uh, but as you're hearing this, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. So you've only got two days to wait. Two more sleeps. Two sleepies to wait until the premiere of Yellow Jacket season two, which is why we're going to talk a little bit about what we expect. So the last 15 minutes of this episode, uh, we're going to talk about things that we saw in the season two trailer, read a couple of emails from listeners and talk about our thoughts and predictions for season two. So if you don't want to be... I wouldn't say spoiled because we don't know shit either. But if you haven't seen the trailer and you're avoiding that, then avoid the last 15 minutes of this episode as well. I you'll know when we that. get there. Yeah, you'll we'll know. Warn you. We'll warn you. We'll say, here it comes. This is how we do <laughs> it. Here it is. This is how we do it. God, I feel so pretty. Okay. You moving, are very pretty. Moving right in. If you want to join so mailbags like this. Uh, you can you can write into streamingthingspod at gmail.com at any time. Streamingthingspod at gmail.com. Uh, you can also join our Discord by going to patreon.com slash streaming things. And you can write questions to us there. The mods will be hip to that. They'll pass them along to us. They're good people. Shout out to the mods. Love the mods. Jordan-esque, Ghost, Anza, Mando Jen. Shout out to them. Just the... The four, the bastions. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. There you go. The, the streaming lips. <laughs> streaming lips. Which are, Hello. Which, <laughs> which, Hello. Are, which are mine. Uh, Any hizzle. God, I feel like so good right now. This wig's doing it for me, guys. Yeah. Mm. You can take that home with you. Overall thoughts. Oh, I am. <laughs> Overall thoughts on the finale of season one. Steve, I'm going to start with you. <gasps> Me? Because you're, this is the first time you've ever seen this. This yeah. is the, the what everyone else was losing their fucking minds over a year and a half, two years ago. Mm -hmm. You're just now experiencing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts right now? How are you feeling? 
Other you know, than super pretty. I'm feeling very pretty. Uh-huh. A. B. I'm feeling pretty good. So uh, it's no secret. Like I wasn't super invested in the show for a while. And then it maybe took like four or five episodes before I finally I was like, what? Hello? <laughs> Excuse me? What is happening in these woods? I've heard rumors and it's dark out. But uh, I think the ending of this season was actually really, really strong. Um, I thought it was probably the best episode. I think it's my favorite episode uh, because it really, really blended what was happening in both of the timelines really, really well. There were some really, you know, fist pumping type moments uh, that we'll get to in our coverage. But yeah, I really, really liked it. Uh, We got some answers. We got some deaths. Uh, We've got all kinds of stuff happening this episode. It's what you want in a season finale, especially when it's a show like this, where so much of the appeal of the show is the mystery. And, you know, this this season ended in a way where, you know, we didn't get a lot of answers that we've been wanting, but we got, I thought, some really fun questions that came up in this season, and especially in the last few minutes. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it was a very good episode overall. Awesome. Other Misty, what did you think? I I agree 100% with you, Steve. Um, I, it's, I, I want to say that my favorite is actually episode nine, but I think episode 10 is my second favorite. And I think primarily because the pacing, I think dives back into it, it dives into a more slower pace than episode nine was. Um, but yeah, it was again, everything what, what Steve said, really, really, really good. Who's um, Steve? Oh, you're right. Misty. Yeah, thank you. Misty thank number, you. number two, three. three? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Misty number three. You're third. Yeah. yeah. I'm third build Misty. <laughs> <laughs> You're the stunt double. Uh, that's why I look like Mrs. Uh, Doubtfire. Like when they, when they, <laughs> they put me in the distance out of focus. You need somebody to from the back. Over the shoulder. Just, yeah, no face. Yeah. There, You're the yeah. one that jumps on Coach Ben and in case yeah. the actress gets that's hurt. A, that's a great day on set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I really, it was a really good finale. Um, I think it, it left us with a lot of questions, uh, answered some questions, but also gave us some some good cliffhangers to go into season two with. Excellent finale. I what agree. did you think of it, Misty? I agree with Misty one. Um, I feel like nine is the the craziest, most fun episode, uh, which is tracks for a lot of like TV shows, especially like Game of Thrones, right? Like the mm-hmm. penultimate number nine would always be. The, the wild one with the big event, like mm-hmm. the Battle of the Bastards, the Hard Homes, that kind of stuff was always episode nine. Yeah. And then the finale wraps things up and, and starts to lead you on, ask more questions to rope you in for the next season. And that's what this episode does. It kind of it's a finale that slows things down a, a bit and, and closes some loops, but ultimately opens more than it closes. That's one of my fears for this show. Um, I'm so excited for season two. Like, I don't think I've adequately described. This isn't just like a, a shtick for the the podcast. Like this is a show that I genuinely love. Um, but I have heard that the writers have like five seasons planned Mm -hmm. and I'm one of those guys that's like, that makes me sad. Like I want, that worries me. I like to finish things. I like to get in, get out, you know, get in, get out Mm -hmm. and everything that I do, just get in, get out. Um, and, and so, yeah, like I think you guys are in agreement that like five seasons is a little worrisome. Like I'd rather wrap this up in two or three, especially with how it's been so hard to figure out when this show airs. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm hoping, like this doesn't that doesn't bode well. I'm hoping the length between seasons one and two was simply because of COVID. Because yeah, that would. Yeah, Jesus, can we just move? Come on, man, get a truck and you leave me with some big questiones. Mm-hmm. Well, on the subject of you know them prolonging it to five seasons, I mean. There is an end point with the 90s version of that that timeline. I mean, 19 months. And so at some point, are they just never going to revisit that? Like, are we never going to get those scenes and it's we're just going to focus on the. No, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm that's what I worry about. Right. It it begs the it begs the question. So we're not going to know how they got out like the end of the wilderness rescue until season five. If they keep Mm. the same like pattern with switching between timelines, it's whack. Right. I don't know. Maybe. Or they could just cut back and go. To, I don't know. We'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll yeah. see. Tune in. Stay tuned. Yeah. We'll find out more later. For right now, let's dive into the play by play for the finale. Back in 19. And even the, having this wig is doing something slightly to my voice. Like I can't <laughs> I can't help it. But be a little it's, bit more from I'm already flamboyant. But this you've got that that lock of hair that's yeah. bouncing around. I know. And I, I, keep, I keep I <laughs> keep. 
<laughs> having to brush it. And then when I do that, if I'm in the middle of a sentence, it gives me like a little bit of a okay. 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 <laughs> you know? That's a hot ass guy if I was high. <laughs> <laughs> so back in 1996, um, they, the, it's the aftermath, the hangover of the shroom trip. They're all passed out outside. Um, it was a really good. It was. It was. It's, I'm so glad I was invited. <laughs> Uh, but Lottie goes over to her, like her cachet of, <laughs> of, of like bones and hearts. I think that seems to develop into the shrine yeah. to whatever spirit controls her and everyone else. This like hollowed out tree trunk thing that she likes. It's like, I love this. I, this is giving. Uh, <laughs> and, and then Shauna grabs the knife and seems to be like remembering what she almost did the night before. Mm -hmm. Back in 2021, Misty finds uh, Gloria has died at work, right? She's like, oh my God, what happened? And was that the woman in like the first episode where she was like, don't fuck with me? Yes. Yes. Okay. They did not have a good relationship, right? Yeah. Um, so she sees like two other orderlies or nurses or whatever, like making up the bed and stuff. And she unnecessarily, like nobody gives a fuck about her at all, but she's she's brought this Tupperware and it says, don't touch, it's Misty's, to pretend like she came to work to pick that up. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's like, all right, bye ladies. And I'm pretty sure one of them, one was, of them is a male was not a lady. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And so they look at each other and kind of roll their eyes. Um, ladies have fun. I love so, her bag. It's like a penguin that says, don't ruffle my feathers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And outside, Natalie's waiting in the car and she's she was there to get oxygenated bleach and some gloves and stuff. And Natalie says, why didn't we just go buy all this shit from like Home Depot or whatever, uh, Walgreens, if you will. And she's like, that's how 12% of all killers are caught shopping for the cleaning supplies. Uh, and besides, this bleach is the good bleach. It's the kind that doesn't leave hemoglobins to be tested. Duh. It's good stuff. Duh. She knows good what she's stuff. talking about, right? Yeah, she does. Uh, and there's part of this deal uh, that she gets out of helping Natalie and the gang is that Natalie has to go to the reunion. Uh, I don't think you know that in this scene. She just says, I'm going to go. I promised I would. But it's the reunion that they're talking about. And then we switch back to 1996. It's Travis is uh, he's cleaning the cut in his neck that he got from Shauna um, right after he was ravished. And Natalie checks on him and he's really mean to her. He's just like, well, I'm actually great because I finally got laid. And she's like, well, it was your dick that wouldn't work. I don't know why you're yelling at me. That's what she should have said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know what your help, Nat. He pushes uh, her away. Um, and he's you, were, you were friends with you hooked up with a guy who called me Flex. I think in this scene, my by the end, not in this. I was confused at this part because I was like, why is he doing that shit again? Like, why is he's he so a, mad at her? He's like. He's he, sad. He's, yeah. he's mad at himself yeah. Yeah. for what he did. He yeah. is, he's not ready to confront that yet. So that's why he doesn't want her around. Yeah. But I need to go look for Javi. Javi's missing, right? Cut back to 2021. Shauna stares at the stain um, of the body, the dead, the dead body. And uh, like, cause there's a little blood stain on the the wrapping that they gave it, the sheet. Natalie and Misty arrive. And apparently Natalie just left without telling him that she was going to go get Misty. She's mm -hmm. just like, I'm going to go get the solution. Uh, <laughs> so they're all like, what did they think Misty? she was getting. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Were they just kind of like, well, how long will she be gone? <laughs> Natalie's super she, reliable, guys. So let's just wait here. Yeah, we Nat all comes know. comes back with the police. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. It was them, officers. <laughs> yeah. She's doing a key bump as she walks down the hall. Um, <laughs> I just love I love Misty's energy where she's like, hello, ladies. Hey, guys. Oh, wow. It's I very sad in here. Misty's Who energy? died? <laughs> <laughs> All the jokes that she cracks. So good. Uh, tells <laughs> tells Shauna that she said, so she says, Shauna, you have to cut up the body. You still good with a knife, right? Oh, I guess you are. Um, and points down at the, <laughs> yeah. the stabby body. Uh, oh, oh he was a gusher. He was a gusher. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else is having her bullshit, but she's so unperturbed by the dead body. Um, Misty She's not afraid to be herself, you know? That's one good thing you can say. Well, there's many good things you can say about Misty, but that's one. True to herself. Unabashedly, Misty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the message that we are all here to bring to you. That's why we're wearing these wigs. Be yourself. That's why we've dressed up as someone else. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Yeah. I think this is my new alias. That's yeah. you? Yep. Like, Honestly? You're, you're, you're you killing it. Out of the three can of I us, say that? you're yeah. rocking it. You're rocking it. <laughs> Slay. I, I think I'm rocking it second best, Steve. I'm just going to say that. You seriously <laughs> look like a Norwegian boy band member. Ergen Flergen. <laughs> Bjergen. <laughs> I just Bjergen. said some fucked up shit to our Swedish listeners. <laughs> uh, we're we're going we're gonna to get so many emails. They're, up there, they're at home like Bjergen. I do. <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> We've got some. We are got, sorry. We've got some sweetie pies in the Danelands, so I apologize. I don't even know if you can say that. If you can call it that, 
Sweetie pies. <laughs> 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 Sweetie pies. Anywho, so Norway. So <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Natalie and Shauna are cutting the body in the next room in the bathroom. They put him in the tub. Um, and she's like, Do you still remember how to do this? Implying that she has separated the arms and legs from the torso of uh, at least a few bodies, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah. she's like, it's like riding a really gross, fucked up bike. So she does remember how she dives right in. And uh, Natalie grills her about Travis. She's talking more and more about the situation with Adam. Like, do you think he did this? Or how did he get, how did he kill him that day? Um, and, and, and finally Shauna kind of says like, we, I think it's a coincidence. I was with Adam the day that Travis died. You have to finally swallow the fact that maybe he killed himself. And Natalie, for the first time, is sort of doubtful Mm -hmm. about Mm -hmm. uh, the reason behind Travis's death. Um, And it's a really funny scene. Not funny, but it's not ha ha funny, maybe. But (laughs) it's funny that they're kind of having this like effective therapy session while dismembering a corpse. Yeah. It's kind of messed up. It's like Sean is like, you know, you need to come to your senses and finally accept the fact that Travis just killed himself. Maybe you need to forgive him. Yeah. While sawing the bones yeah. of this arm, you know, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's a really good scene. Yeah. I didn't get to forgive this guy. <laughs> yeah. She's really blase blah about the fact that she really did kind of care about Adam and now he's dead because she killed him. Yeah. And she also knows he did nothing wrong. Most likely, or at least at this point that she's aware of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but eh, shit happens. Eh. It's Adam. Sometimes you got to cut a motherfucker. What was he doing? <laughs> in that ho- what was he doing in that hotel room? I'm, he's still sus. Yeah. He's still sus. He doesn't have Instagram. So yeah, that is weird. weird. It's weird. Yeah. Weird. Who's not, who is not Gramman? Oh, you're not on Lord 2021. You're not on LinkedIn. Stab. He's an artist and he doesn't have his own artist page yeah. or for his art. Yeah. Please. Quack. Come on. Please. How are you going to get on the FYP? We know he's not a good entrepreneur. How are you going to get on the FYP? That's why he's a struggling yeah. artist. Right. Yeah. If you yeah. knew about SEO, you wouldn't be struggling. Yeah. It's like, that's why you're a mechanic. God. Because you can't advertise your own shit. God. Not, no offense to mechanics, but I'm no saying. Offense. No offense. No offense. He wasn't very good. Yeah. And then we cut to the living room. Misty and Thaisa are in there having a talk. Having a talk. A heart to heart we've never seen. They haven't seen. I, I didn't think about this while watching it, but Thaisa hasn't seen Misty in 25 years, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, since, that's true. Since whatever happened when they left uh, the wilderness. Uh, well, and technically Shauna, right? Because the only time that they've seen each other is, or excuse me, been in contact with each other was the phone call. Am I right? I think so. So I think the only one that's seen Misty is Natalie. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Misty says, uh, I voted for you. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but she's like, I only registered because I want jury duty. Um, of and, course she would. And yeah. <laughs> Thaisa smiles. Um, and then so anyway, she's, uh, Shauna comes out, she's got the bag, which I believe has the head and the hands in it. Um, the which, most important parts, which is almost a good band. Um, the head and the, the hands. The- <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's like, yeah, you can borrow my shovel, but I do need it back. Like it just implies <laughs> that she murders fairly often, both her knowledge of this and the fact that she has all the tools that she needs back. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, she's just a frequent gardener. Um, but she explains uh, that somebody might find the torso in the park, but it doesn't matter, silly, because silly goose head and the hands are all that matters. It's the only thing they can use to identify the body. So back in 1996, um, everybody in the gang is recollecting themselves, except Jackie. She comes out of the cabin last minute. She's disgusted by all of them. Like all you crazy betches. She gives them, lets them have it. Which, right? r- rightfully so. so. Yeah, <laughs> sure. From her perspective, I've been to some wild. parties that went south before. Yeah. I don't know if I've been a part at a party that went that south. <laughs> I mean, you I've been at parties where people have acted up and I'm like, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all mm-hmm. really fucked up. Mm-hmm. And then we all ready for this. But usually we have a discussion here. There's there's not a discussion happen. I've never been in Jackie's position. Not often. I'm definitely more but like, what the Lottie are you or talking? Shauna camp at parties. That's mm. why I don't drink. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like the position that Jackie's in, nobody would ever be in. Correct? Yeah. The identical <laughs> one. Yeah. This is not a common, <laughs> not a common occurrence. I'm just saying when but parties that went south. Your, you, the sober one at the party that went south. Yeah. A bunch yeah, of yeah, drunk yeah. people. Yeah. I'm either yeah. not at the party or I am the south. <laughs> <laughs> States rise. You know? They will rise again. <laughs> they will rise again. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me no offense um <laughs> so 
Um, well, I don't remember where we're at because I'm still thinking about the South. Everybody's Charlie's recollecting. For Jackie. Yeah, Jackie she's comes out, mad. Gives them all, lets them all have it. The coach mentions the shrooms and everybody because he's like, it's common knowledge to him because he had that conversation with Natalie. Yeah, it's probably because Misty gave us shrooms and we're like, <gasps> shrooms? What? That explains everything. And she's like, well, I meant to give him the Ben. And then you guys, like, <laughs> which is like, oh, fucked it up. <laughs> I was just going to drug him. And then she blames the coach. Well, you tricked me into falling in love with you, right? So he's like, what the fuck? Lottie uh, hears a rustling and everybody's like, shh, shh, oh shit. And a uh, cocaine bear walks out. Bear down. It's weird. <laughs> you beat bear me too. I knew. Bear down. Bear down is my notes. Yep. I was like, <laughs> my notes and too. I thought when I typed that, I got to say it quick or Steve's going to get me. <laughs> bear right, down. I'll get you. Bear down. Uh, they asked for the gun. Natalie has the gun. Which She's out you, looking for Travis. Did you see the competition that they finally announced on Discord? Yes, to try to see how many bear downs we have. How many times <laughs> someone says bear down on this? Season? We just added quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm sure we're destroying someone's bracket right now. <laughs> I'm sure. Lottie, bear and, and down. Lottie eventually asks Shauna for the knife. Bear down. Uh, <laughs> Sneaky one. <laughs> and stabs the bear in the head. Did you get some wig in your mouth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the film bro, Misty, makes the hair go in my mouth. And so. <laughs> bear down and it's kind of sad did you ever did you think it was sad like feel sad for the bear anybody yeah i felt really yeah. sad for the bear okay i'm not crazy for that he was like hello everybody he i'm just wasn't a bear a, um, hello i I'm can't good bear you guys shouldn't fight anymore i couldn't bear it if it went on any longer i mean the, i'm really peaceful this is a real kodiak moment come take your photo with me <laughs> It's the polar opposite of a bad situation. <laughs> and then it's not going to be a grizzly day. Black bear. <laughs> <laughs> Ran out of bears. Oh, man. Panda. <laughs> yeah. Pandemonium. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. There you go. I'm sorry, my Misty's going awry. <laughs> oh, you're, you're giving up on film, bro, Misty? But this is the point. The juncture where everybody really leans into Lottie. And I feel like she's kind of slowly being crowned as the leader of the crew, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, without Laura Lee around, she's got this sort of dark cynicism to her magic. Which, did you guys get the sense that the bear was sacrificing itself? Yeah, it kind of offered itself to her where like, here's my, here's the place where you stab me right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it Almost laid down. Like, and well, because... I think in the previous episode where Lottie is like, you know, we're it, we're not going to be hungry anymore. I think the initial thought was, oh, they're going to kill Travis. Attempted right. didn't. I don't know if that was like f that premonition was for that particular moment, but now it's for this scene with the bear. Or it was <laughs> a red herring. The whole situation where you thought, oh god, they're going to yeah. eat him. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't looked at it that way, but it. Yeah, so maybe the spirit of the wilderness there in that area was feeding them mm -hmm. uh, through her, right? Because he respects her. He's like, I fucks with Lottie, the spirit. <laughs> I like her. That's yeah. my friend. Yeah. She hungry. That's my best friend. I like her She's hat. a real bad bitch. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> a real bad bitch. <laughs> I like her What's style. that song? The, the best uh, friend song? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Cotton Eye Joe? She's my best friend. She a real bad I bitch. I mean, she... <laughs> Got to own money. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that the one that you're talking about, like in like 40 year old virgin that Steve Carell sang? No, it's, it's like, from TikTok. Oh, no. yeah. pretty ladies they, around they used it the, the world. The trailer for the Chip and Dale movie from last year. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. No, mm. I don't know. That's my best friend. She got to own money. I don't remember yeah, the yeah. rest of the lyrics. Yeah, but it. Girl. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm sure Steve will I'm look a, it I'm up. Look it up now. Look it up. Just bear down, Steve. Bear down. 2021, there's. Um, Hilarious. Is, you know, it, is it She My Best Friend by Sawitee? Yes. Yes, that's what it is. Sawitee. S-A-W-E-E-T-I. -E -E. Speaking of really good music, there's a hilarious like needle drop in this in this transition between the bear stab and the reunion. I don't remember what it was. But it was really like not anachronistic, but it just was. Uh, Are we calling out the song now? You can just tell me later. But I love okay. the fact that they used it in this scene because in, it was such a hard cut from the bear stab to the to, school reunion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I found it hilarious. And uh, we cut to Randy and Jeff in the reunion talking about the blackmail. Um, 
And then Allie comes up and she's like, your highness talking to Jeff. Cause he's like the homecoming queen or king from back in the day. Yeah, that's clean. <laughs> <laughs> this is the girl whose leg got broken by Thaisa. Yeah. Right? The one yeah. that got iced out. Yeah. Wild. Wild. And in the years, the 25 years <clears throat> since uh, the plane crash, she has developed a hilarious Jersey accent. Yes. Right. <laughs> she, I, like, I feel like she's like the, the girlfriend on, you guys watch friends. Yeah. The one that everybody hated, um, uh, uh, sounded like was, a Fran Dresser sounding like, who, who, who was, was it Chandler? Chan oh, uh, Janice. Janice. Yes. Chandler, Chandler thing. <laughs> yeah. You didn't watch Friends? Not you know I'm talking about well. Janice. You know I'm talking about. I, I don't know. Look, buddy, we're gonna have a friends a thon. Chandler oh, thing. You. Thank God. Me, you, these wigs, and nothing else. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thirteen seasons, buddy. Man, these wigs are gonna be a dirty. We're gonna call. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call it Thirteen Seasons. Why? <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. Steve is pregnant. <laughs> Any hoozle. I do. I just thought it was funny that she has. I because I when she started talking, I was like, yeah, she didn't sound good as a kid. Do we know her? She and took I, a vacay. Allie, wasn't that the name of the girl who broke her leg? But she didn't have an accent. That's why I put right? a question mark with it. Like I didn't remember her like that right. at all. Yeah, um, I think she's she's you know kind of she's embracing the fact that she wasn't on the plane, and she lets everybody know that she yeah. could have been on the plane. So she had drama, trauma, yeah, yeah, yeah. and drama, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. also, she's like really into high school. Like she's never let this go. She's like 10 year reunion. Nobody cares about nobody that. Nobody cares. 15, 20, trash. But 25, pay dirt, baby. Pay dirt, baby. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I was on The Sopranos. Uh, and she's so <laughs> curious about Shauna. Like, where's Shauna? Where's Shauna? Is she coming? Um, she's like really obsessed with the fact that she almost was on the plane. Uh, and then we cut to Misty. What her plan was with the head in the hands is to put it in Gloria's coffin. That's why she was so concerned about when Gloria's funeral would be. But she talked about how she had a, uh, a friend at the the coroner's office or whatever. Um, it's kind of like your mother's guardian angel. Really? She was always <laughs> smiling and laughing. Not literally, of course, due to the stroke. Uh, and I love how her daughter was like, are we talking? Are you sure? It was sorry, are you mistaken? You know who my mother was? Because her mother was a terrible person, right? She's super mean. Yeah. And she knew that. Um and back to Thaisa, she comes home. She's sobbing in her lonely house because, again, Simone and Sammy have, have not come home yet. Um, things are not good in Thaisa's house. We also see Shauna crying in the shower and then Natalie combing her hair, looking pretty somber herself. And then they all kind of walk out to get ready and they're separate scenes at the same time. It's cut really quickly and it's like they're they're stealing themselves for what is to come. Um more than I think they're mourning the fact that they just had to do that to a body. I think the idea of a j rejoining the normalcy of something so normal and mundane as a high school reunion is so much more scary and difficult for them, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which is just an interesting uh, facet. And then we get some establishing shots of like the ghost town school, which I thought were cool. Um and we cut to Taisa and Shauna. They kind of enter the school together. They're about to walk into the, the gymnasium doors uh, <laughs> to the, the reunion. Then Natalie shows up like, hey, wait for me. Uh, and then they all arrive Reservoir Dog style. I love it. In slow-mo. Slow -mo. So badass. And then Misty joins in. Hold on. With her hair. I don't know if it's doing it right. But her hair's bobbing as she's strutting. Uh, <laughs> audio listeners just got... Left out completely. <laughs> yeah. Steve, I don't think that's what it looks like. <laughs> don't judge me. And that's then what his Misty looks like. Misty is so That's hyped. why I'm Misty 3. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's such a Misty 3 thing to do. <laughs> She's so hyped to be with this crew. And like I have everybody looking at her like, yeah, these are my friends. No big deal. <laughs> um, but back in 1996, they're cooking and prepping bear meat. I don't know if there's a, like a, a culinary word for that. Bear meat. Bear down. Bear down on that bear meat. <laughs> <laughs> Mari doesn't trust Misty to help with the food. She's like, fuck off. Right. And all her love and respect is gone. Everything that she even she's lost all her social capital. She's the one that like forced them to be stuck in the wilderness by destroying the black box just so she could relish in this attention a little bit longer. And now it's gone because she's mm -hmm. she's a creepy poisoner lady. It's no fun. No more. Yeah. She's like, oh, you know, I don't like this anymore. Let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> she lost her secret boyfriend. She lost her mm -hmm. friends. This place is garbage. <laughs> 
Shauna uh, wants to lick the blood. I, I thought yeah. she's like the one that's prepping the, the the steak, if you will, the bear steak. And she's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and somebody's like, Shauna, mm-mm. Th- that's, no, not, no. Th- that's not what we do. That's <laughs> not you'll, good. You'll get sick. He said, no. Nars, 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 I'm terrible when I try to do the Australian <laughs> trick. Bond Apparently, if, beach. You, if you say nose cone, it's supposed to help you sit, talk in an Australian accent. Nose cone, nose cone, nose. Now, now I'm going British. That's not a knife. That's not a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. I can do like a cartoonishly Cro- Australian. You do a crocodile Dundee. I yeah. do. I like crocky. Yeah. Crikey, look at that gate over there. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Good eye. Good eye, mate. <laughs> By the way, there's not a single fucking Australian. <laughs> I got Scottish. <laughs> what was that? You went like brogue. Whoa. What's brogue? Scottish brogue. Huh. Brogue. Brogue. None of these accents are in the show. I don't know why we're doing this. Welcome to streaming things. Oh, yeah. It's the multiverse of Missy. Missy right now. Yes. Yeah, we're, there we we're go. Also, we're, yeah, Misty, Australian Missy. Australian yeah. Misty. Misty everywhere. Misty <laughs> Misty everything. Missy everywhere. All at Misty once. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was the best place you could have put those pronouns for sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> or proper nouns. <laughs> uh, and so anyway, Shauna's like, they're like, don't lick the blood weirdo. And she's like, oh, that's fair. Um, and Thais is watching from the attic window and Van enters the attic wearing her charm, her little bone totem that she got from Lottie. Bone and totem is my new band name. <laughs> bone. <laughs> bone. <laughs> hey, bone daddy. They were bone totem. <laughs> Buy some merch in the back. <laughs> Our first album, uh, Doom Coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the, the little uh, toy wolf that Javi made is framing Thaisa in that shot in the window. Oh, I didn't uh, notice and that. And she's like, the, she's the wolf lady. So I thought that mm-hmm. was neat. Yeah. Um, Cause like her ailment, the sleepwalking thing is sort of like, um, like canthropy, right? It's, she's almost like a, a fucking, what's that called? Werewolf. And I like how I thought of lycanthropy. I, I was going to say, I like how you got the, the, lick, the lycanthrope word, but not werewolf. <laughs> yeah. That's the, the misty in me. Very intelligent. Uh, <laughs> Van says, um, tells her that she saw something in the, in the, in between the limbo of life and death when she got attacked by the wolf, mm-hmm. yada, yada, yada. It's the same old argument between Van and Tice that we've gotten like twice before now, but now yeah, it's Van's upset that it's Tice come to a head. doesn't believe in this. Yeah. And she's like, I, if, is that going to be a problem? Or are we going to break up? Basically, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, every relationship comes to this point at some point. It's like, hey, I'm really into astrology. And is that going to be a problem for you if I ask? Hey, I'm really into Yu-Gi-Oh. If I do that <laughs> problem, <laughs> if I do your sun charts, you know, well, I'm into Pokemon. So obviously not. Ooh, mm, perfect. <laughs> every now and then you'll come over. I'll be wearing scrubs and a wig and be talking into a microphone. Is that a problem? No, no, not with this crew. No, but no. some people. They might. Not if you're a true friend of the pod. But she stands up to Thais's rationalism. And then back in 2021, Natalie's looking at trophies and pictures of Travis out in the hallway outside the reunion. Kevin, with a Y, shows up. It's the first time we've seen them together since she kind of yelled at him and pretended she didn't care when, in fact, we know she did. Um, Real quick, Chris. Yeah. Bear down. Carry on. Bear down. (laughs) (laughs) Also, I want to make note that there are the picture shows 18 soccer players on the team. Oh, okay. You counted? We, yeah. Well, did I was. You pause? Or you no, like I, did, I, did, man I did quick of... math. <laughs> it was six by three. You did maths? I did six times three. I was like, yeah, 18. Oh, you calculated the area of that group of people? I did. I did. Didn't yeah. think I knew that, did you? But there were 18 on the soccer team. <laughs> you know, subtract a couple that died on the plane. But They did. Yeah. At least one um, nameless young woman. And then. The other one was the flight attendant, I think. Well, we don't know how many mystery people yeah, died. Yeah, but there's, yeah. So anyway, very good, very good catch. We did, we because at one point we had no idea how, yeah. many, how many girls there were. No clue. But she says that you remind me a lot of Travis or you're a lot alike, right? And Kevin says, uh, why? Because we both loved you. Um, and then she says he killed himself. So this is when she's come to the full realization that that is what happened. Um, and then she's kind of warming up. But then Kevin's date walks out. Mm-hmm. Kevin? Are you going to come fuck me now? And Are like, we leaving the reunion already? <laughs> yeah. I promised we would come here for 10 minutes yeah. and then leave because this is the beginning of the reunion. <laughs> Are you talking to some slut? I don't have my glasses. Oh. <laughs> like she, well, she doesn't even wear glasses. She's Why am I going to focus? 
<laughs> right. That was actually me. Yeah. Misty three. That was Misty three. Little known fact. That was Steve. Easter egg. Yeah. The uh, other girlfriend body double. Yep. Um, I play we, a lot of roles. We yeah. cut to Randy and he goes up to Sean. I'm so pretty lady. We doing she, shots. Well, she orders like a, I forget, like a beer or something for the crew of multiple beers. And then he goes so pretty lady. And she's like, actually, four shots of tequila. Making he's like, doubles. hell yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> are we drinking? Yeah, I'm not man. picking up any social cues. <laughs> And then she threatens Randy. Like, if you ever tell anybody what you did with my husband, they will, if they ever find your body, which they won't, they won't be able to identify you because you'll be so fucked up. You know, but she goes on and on and on. So, so you're mad. So you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> which did Jeff say how much he shared with Randy? I think she implied like or he implied that Randy was in on the whole blackmailing ruse. Mm -hmm. I don't think he knows about the Adam murder or anything like that. No, um, I guess. The, or more, more what about so her past? Like the details of like the journal. Yeah, right? that's true. I have no idea. Interesting. Yeah. I guess I would hope not. I feel like I don't. I think Randall Berry has loose lips, and we all know about those. They sink ships. They do sink ships, mm -hmm. which yep. is weird because it rhymes. Um, hey, the the biggest truisms in life rhyme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very true. Bear down. In 1996, speaking of which, they're having the bear meal and um, somebody says, how did Lottie know? Right. I think was it Van. I that think asked? it was Van. She's always curious well, about Van Lottie's asked powers. About what she said the night before about not having. Yeah. How does she know that we wouldn't? How, do, how does she know we'd get this food? Yeah. This delicious grub. Right. She got lucky. Because yeah. I checked Uber Eats like six times and it didn't say they were anywhere near here. Mm -mm. All of a sudden the bear shows up. I said bear didn't even deliver. Mm -mm. No. Then we just got this notification and said, oh, bear down. And then I looked over. <laughs> <laughs> from, from Bear Dash. Bear Dash. Uh, and then Jackie's like, get it from, or would you get it from Bear Share? <laughs> oh. Y'all remember Bear Share? No. Uh, it was like an early um, Napster ripoff. I remember mm -hmm. Lion Share, the idiom. Hmm. Mm. It's not that the beans are out of the bag now, <laughs> but Jackie's like, she didn't know she was just lucky. She gets upset. She loses her shit. Right. Um, and then Van says, Hey, can we say grace before we eat? And Lottie's grace. like, Oh my God, I would love to do that. That's I fucking super into pagan rituals. Here we go. Thank you. Gods <laughs> of the ancient dirt and sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Jackie does not want involved in that. She stays quiet. Everybody else is kind of like, yeah, fuck it. Back in 2021, uh, is it Natalie? It's like, ooh, oh, it's Misty. Yeah. Ooh, shooters. Uh, <laughs> which I've ooh. never ever called a shot a shooter. Ooh, shooters. But well, yeah. unless you order the desserts from Applebee's. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Um, and then, <laughs> okay, go on. Do you have something to say with that scene? Well, just the whole shooter comment. Shooters are the ones in the tiny bottles. Like the shots are in oh, the like glasses. the airplane ones? Yeah. Like in the tiny, like little bottles, those are shooters in my brain. In my brain. In my brain. In your head cannon. brain. My head cannon, yeah. My next note is, <laughs> is boo, shut the fuck up, Doug. That's why I started laughing. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, Doug. You're a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a random, but super good. Especially it with her good. like fake. Well, they're all from Jersey, Steve. So I oh, guess I as she grew up, it just kind of came out. I Maybe, guess. yeah. It, she, I feel like her with that accent merely exists in the show to remind us all, oh, yes. This is New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Snooky. Because mm -hmm. I keep forgetting <laughs> that it's New Jersey. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, and uh, Whiskavok High, right? Is that what? Whiskayak? Whiskayak. Whiskayak. It, yeah, because I was kind of taken aback at how American it sounded when she said it. Whiskay Whiskayak High. Whiskayak High. I'm walking here. Hey. And then she does Shut like. the fuck up, Doug. She, she first gives the definition of reunion from worddefinition.com. Uh, <laughs> a reunion. A union that is happening again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but eventually she gets to like a PowerPoint of the stranded girls. Uh, and like the table with Shauna and Gang Gang is just like, oh, my fucking God. But Misty's super stoked. Like, yay. Misty's never been prouder. Yay, Memories. The attention. Love it. And the then, best days of my life. <laughs> what song was that? It's like Sarah McLaughlin or something, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it was. I don't remember. I didn't write down the what it was. Arms of the angel. Was it that song playing? Was it Enya? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, or Enya, was one of those. Only Time by not, Enya? Not you, yeah, Enza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then, so it's just pictures of all the people that died and even some of the survivors. Intercut with 1996, they're saying grace, but grace. Peg, peg and grace. And uh, and apparently, this is the only time I've never liked Misty. The only time I can remember not liking Misty. 
Mm. Oh, she's a rat. She's a snitch. Yeah. Not cool. Snitch. And like Van, snitches get stitches. Damn it. Jackie didn't say it, but she wants back in the good graces of everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right? what, that's why she's doing it. She's climbing that social ladder. Like if I'm not at the bottom, that's fine. I can be she, second to the bottom. She's totally like her, her friend that did her makeup just the episode before made her feel so good yeah. and accepted. You know, she sees that that friend is drowning and instead of giving a hand, she sticks her foot and just pushes her under the water a little bit more. She it, tilts her head and watches it drown. Yeah. yeah. I like to date rape people with drugs, says Misty, but Jackie didn't say grace. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? Who's the real villain here? <laughs> They're like, good point, Misty. Because we that's on us. We knew you were crazy. Yeah. But Jackie, you have sunk to new lows, mm-hmm. not saying the grace with us. It is. So it then is. Jackie unloads, right? Like she's just like, you guys are all, are we not going to talk about how you guys tried to kill Travis last night? Sorry, I don't howl at the moon and have orgies, which is pretty lame, though. That was not a defense of hers. But I love when she said that Ben's like, whoa, what happened? Because yeah, yeah. he was not privy yeah. to the orgy or the what murder. What did I miss? Dang. Y'all party hard. I didn't know y'all were cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't I invited? And so then she asks Shauna directly, like, what, what were you doing with the knife to Travis's throat when you were about to slice it? I just answered my own question. And she was like, <laughs> so then Shauna uh, yells back at her. And then Jackie says, Shauna was fucking Jeff. That's who her little baby's from. Um, <laughs> the baby. The, the baby. The baby. <laughs> Every time. And then, so then Shauna, to my surprise, defends herself because it's like, oh, she's got you there. You're her, she's like, you're my best fucking friend, right? Seems like she's got the chick and a You're my best friend. You're a real bad bitch. But then you Shauna. Got your own money. No, 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 no. You're obsessed with yourself. <laughs> uh, and Jackie, this. I know she's upset and she's hurt, but this was a bad tactic she switched to with like, oh, is this sad little sidekick? You know, I'm like, oh, that's not a is good it, look for you. Is it hard living yeah. in my shadow? Yeah, mm-hmm. not a good look for you. And so that, I think, turned everybody else against her. Mm-hmm. Um, so ultimately. Uh, surprisingly, I, w- I liked how Shauna's like, you always just assumed I would go to Rutger with you. Never an asked me. I don't even like soccer. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah. yeah. It was just like, first off, I'm here. That's kind of your fault, you know, yeah. <laughs> or my fault for, you know. Just trying to people please you all right, the time. Right. right. It's, that's a huge thing. Now we understand uh, the headspace of Shauna throughout all of this. Right. Yeah. Um, so cut back to 2021. We oh, just, well, she did have a really good line. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I loved Shauna's line with like, I'm not jealous of you, Jackie. I feel sorry for you. You're weak. And then when uh, Jackie's like, get out, I'm kicking you out. I, I can't even look at you. She's like, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> like, oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Shit, shit it on her. Shit it on. I was going to get to that, but they did cut to 2021 briefly because they they they? show Jackie's photo between those lines. And the only reason I wrote that down is, you know, she's dead, dead. Right. Which you knew before because the mom and stuff. Right. But like it just reminds you right in the middle of the fight. Oh, she dies. Right. Um, But yeah, then that was a great line and, and really powerful. Especially when they shut the coach up like that. Like, like, Betch, sit down. Oh, yeah. Lottie's like, <laughs> let them fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, In this corner, we have. Uh, we have the rage from the cage. It's jaw-breaking Jackie. <laughs> and then Shauna with two hearts beating as one. <laughs> <laughs> beating Jackie's ass. Shut yeah. shit kicking shit, man. <laughs> Get it? Because she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Bear down. And then in 2021, Allie asks Jeff and Shauna to dance as king and queen. Awkward. Awkward. Yeah, awkward. Uh, but Shauna says, all right, let's do it. Because he says, hey, well, you, you want to run for the hills, right? Um, and then while they're dancing, he questions her about hiding the body of Adam. He's like, did you? And she's like, yep. <laughs> but it's best if you don't know a lot about it. I chopped it up a lot. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to be all right. Jeff, man, he's the, I'm telling you, man, Jeff's a good guy. I mean, we got Randleberry on our side. We can, Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> we exactly. can get through this. Uh, back in 1996, you see Jackie trying to light a fire. She's uh, she's not equipped for survival in the outdoors. We already know this about mm-hmm. her, right? 2021, Misty's bringing coffee to Jessica. She's it's the next morning after the reunion. She woke up a little later than usual, um, and she, she started weeded shots. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. I'm a little hungover. And she <laughs> and she's backing out of their deal because now she doesn't need to like. Um, to secure Jessica's friendship, right? She's back in in her crew in in her mind. So. 
Um, but she's like, how can I trust you if I let you go? Not to go straight to the police, you know? And Jessica says, you know what I do for a living? I'm a fixer, um, which I thought was only a word in video games, but she's basically like a, when a pop, <laughs> it's in <laughs> cyberpunk 2077, the fixers. Oh yeah. But, you, jobs but and you didn't think that was like a real, not that somebody would call themselves. It sounds like, it sounds like a person who thinks they're a fixer, but isn't would call themselves a fixer. Hey, I'm a poser. Yeah. Like <laughs> if you rob banks, you're not going to be like, I'm a robber. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you say, you know? Um, That's what I do for a living. I yeah. am a robber. <laughs> <laughs> I am a burglar. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I burgle things. I've been known to burgle a time or Specifically, two. Specifically, I burgle hamburgers. Rabble, rabble. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburglar. God damn it. Oh, you know my work. <laughs> yes. Very familiar. So she's like, I've seen, she's basically like the, the person you would call if you were a senator and you like had a dead hooker or something. Like you'd call Jessica. She's like, I've seen crazy shit. Um, <laughs> I hate myself. I never have a, I don't have a soul. Anyway, let me go. And um, <laughs> Misty's like, okay. And we cut to Thaisa. She's talking to Simone on the phone. Um, she's working on her concession speech. She's convinced speech. She's convinced she's going to lose the election. And Simone's like, I'm going to stop by the house and pick up some stuff. And it turns out that it's because you're not there. I don't want to see you. And Thaisa picks up on that. It's a very sad scene for her. When she said she was writing her concession speech, I was like, oh, dang, did she lose? Me too. Even though I've seen it before. They, yeah. they got me again, Steve. Mm -hmm. uh, and she says, I love you. And then uh, Simone's like, see you later. Oh, Scott. Her. Aww, Aww, so oh, sweet. you hit her with that one. Thanks. <laughs> Hang on. Click. She even said click because phones don't do that anymore. <laughs> click. Um, <laughs> and then we cut back to Misty. She's uh, setting Jessica up to leave. She's like, hey, I got you gas. I pulled your car right up out front. So Misty. And then we find out uh, Jessica's like, where'd you put, did you throw away my cigarettes? Give them back, Misty. I need those. She doesn't have cigarette in days. Misty. Girl, I know you're trying to help me out with you my health my and all. So she gives her the cigarettes. She lights one up in the car, sits for a second, drives off, rolling her eyes like, Jesus Christ. Back in 1996. Another, another day, another dollar. Ooh, my life as a fixer is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I do love Misty's like, who's going to play me in the movie? Obviously, Meryl Streep. Obviously. No, wait. Scarlett Johansson. Yes. <laughs> no, wait. Christina Ricci. <laughs> yeah. Is that who she references? That person? Because she doesn't reference herself. But no, she, she but she does reference another actress in a movie. Scarlett Johansson. S yeah, Scarlett it's Meryl Streep first. Oh, no, but then she says like, or that one actress in the movie where they rob some. I didn't get what she was referencing. I didn't catch there. the okay, reference okay. either. Because I, I thought it would have been funny if that was her, like her character. It was actually. Oh, I bet it is. But I'm that girl in the movie who becomes friends with a ghost who's very friendly. Yeah, yeah. Or that whatever. That would have been funny. Whatever you would describe Black Snake Moan to be about. Or that girl who got chained up in Samuel Jackson's house. <laughs> to a radiator. Justin Timberlake she's was a sex in love addict. With her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something. What a weird ass movie. Yeah. Um, back in 2021. No. Now we're back in 1996. Jackie can't keep the fire going. Sean is watching her. Uh, but she's too stubborn to go help. You can even hear Thaisa go, go talk to her. And she's like, mm -mm, definitely not. Um, that her bag. Natalie's out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's out looking for Travis, who's looking for Javi. He can't find him. She's like, "Well, I'll, let me help you." And he, this is when he breaks down. I don't want your help. No, I don't want your fucking help. But now this is a really <laughs> emotional scene for like. I love Natalie's persistence and like knowing somebody really well. Like I know, but I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. It was, it was, it was adorable. Um, and then I think I fucking love you, Nat. Oh shit! Oh. And she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is like, oh. <laughs> that's like six that's cuts so away. We, we cut to 2021. Natalie's packing up the hotel room. 1996, Travis crying. I know. And then young, Nat, uh, old Natalie looks at the picture of dead Travis. Uh, and then young Natalie. I'm so sorry. I didn't want, you know, and it's when he, Travis apologizes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to. It was the shrooms. I didn't even think I could get a boner, but it was like so hard. But apparently <laughs> that's what I need. I didn't know what to do with it. Dude. It wanted to go somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and Jackie was being really nihilistic, and you know I love that. I am so cynical. <laughs> I can get it from my dad. 
<laughs> We're adding way much more cool lines to this scene. Then they hug for an extended period of time. Um, but current Natalie grabs the pictures of dead Travis. And then I have more hug. I was very thorough. And <laughs> but hug. in the modern timeline, Jessica's all woozy while she's driving. Misky, Misky. <laughs> I've given her so many names throughout this podcast. Pisky. Pissy. That was, that was me. <laughs> Misty drugged her cigarettes. So we, I presume she dies. With Yeah, I assume it's with mm. fentanyl. Fentanyl smoking that shit. Mm. Must have been a lot. And she realizes as she's going down that eh, fucking bitch. Um, Misty's so clever. because She threw him away knowing she'd want him even more. Yeah. And so she, she wouldn't would, be suspicious. Yeah. Don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. <laughs> don't be suspicious. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Uh, Sh Shauna and Jeff are watching TV like a like a couple drinking some brewskis, I think. Maybe root brewskis. I don't know. Uh, and they're talking about. Yeah, hey, we have a fortune's about to come on. We should get a cat. Yeah. Cat'll be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Callie comes in, sees them giggling and having a good time. And she's like, what? What the fuck? What's I don't happening? like it. They invite yeah. Callie to join. She's like, no, I got trig homework. And they're like, no, they can wait. Just sit with us. Oh, you fucking nerd. Get in here and watch Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. She's got a little smirk there. Like Callie's kind of happy. Um, like, dare I, dare I wish for some normalcy? <laughs> don't make me hope. Not for long. Mm -hmm. uh, Thaisa is preparing to lose, uh, but it's a closer race than suspected. The mm -hmm. announcer announces and <laughs> Natalie <laughs> we see a brief shot of Natalie on the bed in <laughs> in 1996 Jackie's really cold outside she's like burr and Shauna still refuses to go talk to her um that's when Thaisa uh asked her to go do that in 2021 um <laughs> I thought this was funny that Kelly's like commercials still exist and then her dad's like, hey, I have a commercial. You know, I'm in one. Yeah. I, I haven't personally seen a commercial in years either. Right. So this was just like funny to me. Yeah. I haven't seen like a commercial on TV in forever. It's only like on YouTube where I see those things pop up. No, nah, skip five skip, seconds. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. I usually whenever I watch sports is when I see commercials. That's but like the it. TV commercials have their own vibe. Yeah. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Oh, they're, yeah. Yeah. Like Sunday, 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 or whatever. Do I still do that one <laughs> with the monster trucks and stuff? Do you or someone that you love suffer from chronic back pain? <laughs> you may be entitled to a lawsuit. Call me, Jim Dean, at Jim Dean suing your ass. It's five, five, five suits. <laughs> Bear down. Bear down on the lawsuits. I can get you and someone you love a lot of money if you just bear it on down. That's right. Does that count? Does that count if you say bear on down? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it does. And then Callie sees the missing Adam commercial. Uh, local man. And, uh, oh, that was Chris, Chris, Chris. That was the news. <laughs> <laughs> Not a commercial. That was the news. <laughs> I, I, I know you haven't seen a commercial in a long time, so it's hard to differentiate between the two. <laughs> Maybe you also don't watch a lot of news. They just want to have commercials where like, by Tide and also man missing. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking wrote that. What'd you write? Missing Adam commercial. <laughs> guys, oh, shit. I want to say it on public record. If I go missing, I want you guys to make a commercial I'm not about it. Buying any airtime? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I thought we were friends. <laughs> For three people at the nursing home to know you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Three oh, people that look exactly like you do I right now. That boy looks like, like my grandson. <laughs> Where am I? I'm missing. <laughs> yes, you're right. The news. <laughs> something I something else I haven't seen in 10 years. Because I don't care. We're all going down. Oh my god. <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Every five years, I look back and I'm like, I don't even know that guy. I don't like that guy. My values have changed completely. And that's a good thing. That means I'm growing as a person. You know, I learn new things about myself all the time when I look back and things that used to be okay with me no longer are. I maybe want to want something completely different out of life. And therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or the why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you 
with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you're at right now. And that can be a tough thing to find. I work in the mental health field, have for many years. And even then, looking for a therapist can be an exhausting process, especially dealing with all the ins and outs of insurance. And eventually you're just like, ah, I just won't worry about it, right? But what BetterHelp does is it connects you online. It's all entirely online. You can shop through different therapists to, to try to meet your needs. And then you can switch therapists rather easily if you're not jiving with the one that you've got. And I personally have, this is, this is me getting real for a second. I've been trying to talk myself into securing a therapist for myself for a long time, like multiple years. I still, to this day, have not done it. I have no personal experience with therapy, except maybe you could call it group therapy with the 12 step stuff that I do, but I've got like severe anxiety, all kinds of shit going on. And I know that I need a therapist. And so I really like this sponsor, just connecting people easily right where they're at, right in their home with something that they probably desperately need. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash streaming things today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash streaming things. Yes. Yeah, so she gets concerned. Like she like looks right at, or like looks for Shauna a little bit, you know? Uh, and even Jeff like kind of glances at Callie, which I thought was weird. Cause I didn't think he knew that Callie knew about her unless Shauna told him everything, mm. which maybe he did. Or maybe he's looking at her like, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah. We're cool. She doesn't, she doesn't know. She didn't know. Your she mom didn't know. kill that guy. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I don't uh, know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> If, right. she, if she did, I would know about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a super bad I swear on our marriage, she didn't kill that guy. <laughs> or fuck him. Or any. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm being very open with you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a praying mantis. Um, Simone goes to the house with Sammy to get some of his toys and stuff like that. She hears, she sees air blowing through a hole in the <laughs> My notes are fucking terrible. There's a name for that. There's a, there's a, a, dra a draft in the basement. <laughs> she sees air blowing through a hole in the basement. That's how I wrote it. Nice. Where'd that hole come from? There's a draft in the duct. Thank you, uh, mm. Misty One. Uh, and she finds some spots of blood in the opening there. It's like a whole ass crawl space. Crawl space. In the middle of this, Tysa Turner wins the election. Surprise. Su surprising a lot of people, apparently. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. And then <laughs> Simone finds a cavern. That's what I wrote. It's just a, a, a crawl space. There you go. But it's a cavern to me. And she sees dead biscuit head and <gasps> in a shrine. Weird shit. Poor biscuit. Where's the rest of my body? I really lost my head over there. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I, t I told the other mummy that I wouldn't pee in the carpet again, but I don't think she believes so me. So that confirms that... Uh, oh, I'm dead, yes. <laughs> confirmed. There's no confirmed. coming back from a decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> I know dog bodies are different than human bodies, but I am... I will Take him to the vet immediately. <laughs> Holy shit. Something's wrong with your dog. <laughs> this one doesn't have four legs. Oh, a body. Uh, the wings are getting tight. <laughs> <laughs> Callie's going to see a commercial. Local uh, dog. <laughs> Miraculously saved from decapitation. We all celebrate. Dog Miracles. walking around with no head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's his body? Body missing. That thing ran, <laughs> that thing ran off. And she shrieks, right? So, And we're not going to get any closure this season on this at all. So... Taisa, worst thing that's ever happened to her and the best thing at the same time, right? Like she's getting uh, elected to the senatorial position. I don't know if that's how you say that. I'm not a politically minded person. However, she's also going to be in some trubs because I think that's a, I don't think that's legal. I don't think you can just decapitate your dog. So No, no. That's at, at, at the very least, it's frowned upon. And she needs her fixer, but her fixer's dead. Yeah. She calls Jessica like, hey, she's like, oh, you got a hooker? And she's like, no, I decapitated my dog. <laughs> And Jessica's like, I really need a new job. I'm dead. On my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, also, <laughs> I'm likely I'm likely dead. I'm also Ty dead. Ty sees her talking to the guy with no eyes. She's like, fuck. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. It's getting crowded in here. 1996, Shauna is talking to Jackie. She comes up and says, hey, I'm sorry. Why don't you come inside? When she gets inside the cabin, they're all waiting uh, inside to warm her. They hand her hot chocolate. Blankies, Snuggies. Jackie's like, how the fuck 
Do you all get hot chocolate? I don't even care. This is delish. Uh, and they were like, we all love you, Jackie. Uh, <laughs> she sees Laura Lee. And then she gets upset. Uh -oh. Not a good sign. And then she sees a mystery man. Ooh. So glad you're joining us. We've been waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? I hope your travel was comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we all love you, Jackie. You love me so much. Wait, what? Love your hair. <laughs> love your eyes. <laughs> I just love your general disposition. <laughs> you're my best think, friend. What do you think of Shauna? How bad. <laughs> <laughs> And then Shauna, we cut to Shauna waking up with her, like her breath cold. Like, you know, like you can see the breath in the air. It's fucking freaking freezing out here. And then she looks through the window, sees Jackie, presumably, uh, and she runs outside. It snowed and Jackie fucking froze to death. Yeah. Da, da, da. And so the scene that we just saw was essentially Jackie going into the afterlife. She's yes. in the, is she in that in-between place that uh, Van, Van was talking, was talking about? about? Sure, Maybe. sure. I mean, if 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 the afterlife is just any sort of weird hot chocolate party with Laura Lee, I'd be disappointed. <laughs> this was such an effective scene to me, though. Like, I was crying my eyes out. And I remembered that Jackie dies about halfway through this episode, like, mm -hmm. and how exactly. Mm -hmm. But even still, like, the way that they filmed it, yeah. Knowing that she was dead throughout the entirety of her, like getting the blankets and, and Shauna apologizing and shit was like mm -hmm. worse. I was so sad. I was yeah. so sad. Yeah. I think they do an effective job this whole season of like, oh, Jackie's dead. When's she going to do it? Is she the girl that they kill in the trap? And the oh, whole time. The necklace, da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. The whole time you're like looking for these clues at the end. None of them matter because she just ends up just freezing to death because she just didn't want to go inside. So we still don't know who's the girl in the trap yeah. or who's wearing the necklace. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it'll be a red herring as soon as season two opens up. Yeah. Somebody will, I guess, fucking rob the body, take it off of Jackie, right? Or is Shauna that? wearing it again? Jackie is wearing it currently. Right. So somebody's going to have to take the necklace off of her and whoever gets that, it'll probably be a red herring. Mm -hmm. But the yeah, person who fell in the pit has to be like a, like they don't, they don't all look the same. It has to be like a Mari or something, right? Like it was kind of a brunette. Look, there speculation that it's a vision that uh, uh, Lottie had of herself. Uh, so there's, I mean, I, I think, th yeah, there's speculation that it's a vision, but you know, if it is somebody from the group, it's definitely, I think it's definitely Amari. There can't be a, another person unless it's interesting a vision. vision of Lottie. And that's why she like runs away or something. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we're just, not there yet. Yeah. We're not there yet. We're, we're still, on the Got one more little scene before we start talking about some season two shit. This Anything? was this was really sad because I mean the whole the whole time I was watching the scene when like Sean is crying and you see Jackie's dead body, all I could think of was like, oh, that their last interaction together was really sad. They were like angry and just not yeah. in a good place, and you know you can you know, argue like, oh, Jackie's being mean. Oh, Shauna shouldn't have done that to her friend before they got on the plane. But these are two people that obviously really did truly care for each other. Sure. And just through these mistakes and circumstances, they said things I'm sure they don't truly mean. And they say never go to bed angry. And this is why, because yeah. you can freeze to death. Yeah, that's 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 why my therapist told me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just got to bear down, go apologize. Bear down, yeah. And uh I don't really know how the human body works. If you fall asleep and you get super cold, do you just sleep through that shit? I think it's also a combination of Jackie not eating. Like she probably yeah. wasn't very healthy either. You know, that's true. So when you get so cold, you get, I know you get warm at a certain you. point you get warm. Yeah. You think you're like, you start well, taking nice. your clothes off. This is nice. I feel good. That's why when a lot of people suffer from hypothermia, they find them naked. Cause they like disrobe cause they're so, they feel so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's like that song by Nelly. What song hot is that? Here. Thank you. Oh. Take off all your clothes. Thank you. I am getting, getting so hot. hot. Probably I'm gonna take my clothes off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had like a Band-Aid Misty. <laughs> <laughs> and 2021, Natalie goes to pull the trigger. She's got the rifle up to her um, chin. And it's not looking good. And then somebody knocks on the door and then she's kidnapped by a cult. I, I can only assume it's a cult because one of them, at least one of them is wearing like the, the rune symbol medallion. 
Uh, and it's got to be the people that were involved with Travis's death. And while she's doing that, getting kidnapped by, I mean, it's more of a passive thing, actually. Uh, <laughs> she gets a call from Susie, the lady who's supposed to be working on the bank account. And she leaves a voicemail. What the hell have you gotten me into? I think somebody's following me. And who the fuck is Lottie Matthews? Da, da, Boom. Da, da. Shut the front door. Lottie's alive. Oh, my. This whole oh, time. Shit. We didn't know this. We didn't know this. Back in 1996, Lottie brings, I think, the bear heart yep. mm-hmm. to the to the shrine, the hollowed log, if you will. It's an offering to the spirits of the of the mud and air or whatever the fuck. And Van and Misty are her first disciples, right? Uh, and let the darkness set us free, or whatever she says. She yep. gets, she's a, she's become a Sith. At first, she was a Jedi with Laura <laughs> Lee, and now she's a Sith. Wouldn't like, you say, Steve? Okay, yes. Anakin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Go Anakin. She really on hates us now. sand. She needs. Yeah, she's yeah. the Anakin. Yeah. She hates sand. <laughs> <laughs> the women and the children. And then um, Lee was Padme. Wow, sorry. Oh, wow. Now it was I'm her connect- Padme. Now I'm connecting. Ooh. I like it. You want to take her from me? <laughs> <laughs> and Misty's just a little Jawa. Just mischievous. Misty Jivas. Oh, teeny. <laughs> oh, teeny. Oh, teeny. Now it's time for our favorite moments of the finale. Oh, man. Madison, a.k.a. Misty One. Drop number three on us. What's your number three favorite moment? My number three was when Sean and Jackie were having it out with each other in the cabin. They were just letting loose. Sean was giving it to her. Um, Go on. Yes. I, it just, we've, we've been waiting for this moment. It finally happened. And it was just, it was so satisfying. The cat's out of the bag. Um, Beans are out of the bag. Yeah. And so that was my, my number three. Mr. Steve, you're number two. Uh, I'm Misty number three. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> my number three for Misty number three is, um, it's got to have Misty in it, right? We have to have a Misty moment. And I think I just like the moment of uh, Misty sort of being super fun with uh, Jessica. Like, oh, who's going to play me in the movie? And then it reveals that she drugged her with her drugged her cigarettes. And I was, I, yeah. I was like, Oh, we still have the fentanyl. Misty is just an interesting character. Very interesting. Unpredictable. Very unpredictable. Uh, she might be my favorite character on the show, even though she is capable of I can't tell. atrocities. Yeah. You wouldn't tell by looking at me, but Misty might be my favorite character on the show. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but like guys, <laughs> huge Misty fan. I've actually want people. I want to big Misty. Fan. I want them to start calling me Miss Steve. All right. Miss he's, Steve. He's from the Misty Mountains. Far over <laughs> the Misty Mountains come. You could have sang Led Zeppelin and you went for that. Just throwing Through that out dungeons there. Dungeons deep. My number three is Misty with the dead body. Uh, just cracking jokes. Ooh, what a gusher. Oh, can I change mine to that? Yeah, but absolutely. But I changed it. Back boom. Back <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely... Uh, one of my top three favorite moments. I, I love that so, so much. So many yeah. good puns. Yeah. And you know, I'm a sucker for puns. Yeah. Two things I love. One of them is puns. What's the second one? I can't talk about it. Hmm. <laughs> Bear down and find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just so happens that that's my number two. Boom. When, Ooh, cranked up to number two. When, Miss, that's why you're Misty one. When OG Misty is instructing the others how to get rid of the body. It's just, she's so nonchalant about it and perfectly encapsulates her character. This so is good. everything she's been preparing for her whole life. 100%. Yeah, she comes in, takes charge. She listens to so many murder mystery podcasts. <laughs> she's part of the, 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 what is it? The Citizen Detective Citizen Society. Citizen Detective, yep. Like she... She was meant for this. Yeah. She is a, a subreddit incarnate just unleashed upon this crime scene. <laughs> She's throwing out upvotes at people. <laughs> Reddit gold. <laughs> Wait till I tell you guys about crypto. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Misty would be huge in the crypto. You know she would. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, my number two is, is my number two time. Yeah. Or Steve. I don't. I mean, you can skip me. That's fine. I got lost, man. I got lost. Don't skip Misty three. I can't even see with the wig. (laughs) Misty three, your number two. My number two is Shauna yelling at Jackie in the cabin. It's just such a pivotal moment, and it's really sad in retrospect. With you know, considering what happens to Jackie right Mm -hmm. after this, but you know, this this confrontation between these two characters has been building and building all season. It finally came to a head, and it was great. 
Um, it was very cathartic and seeing Shauna kind of clap back at Jackie for everything that she's sort of taken advantage. But at the same time, it's really sad because Jackie's just a kid, right? Yeah. She's, she's selfish and spoiled. Sure. But I mean, who amongst us weren't, wasn't that way in some, in some way, shape or form when we were 18, 19. I was an angel. You were, you were, you were a sweet baby I was that song that I was what Sarah McLaughlin was singing about. When somebody was in my arms. The misty. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> is it my number two? Yes. 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 Don't yes. be desperate with me, Mr. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Go. Patch. <laughs> Patch, you better be patient. Go number two. Patch. My number two is the Reservoir Dogs entrance into the reunion uh, with the Misty, Juliet, uh, Juliet, Juliet Lewis, Misty, Natalie, the whole gang all together walking slow mo into the reunion. I loved it so much. I know that they're like murderers and cannibals and stuff. But in that moment, but I was like, great. slay, literally. <laughs> Fuck all these normies. You kill people, whatever, you know? <laughs> you guys are cool. I love it. You're the cool peeps. So I thought it's just a really cool moment. I didn't expect that. And I'm a big fan of Reservoir Dogs. So anytime you can get that like slow-mo walk, do it. It was, it it. was cool. Do you it think this cool. scene would be better if it was actually the song from Reservoir Dogs? Yes. Um, do, 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 do. Or even if they threw the other one. Um, Stuck in the middle yeah, with you. That's a good song. That's what, that's Here what I, I thought. Here I am. I'm not Bob Dylan, but I sing like it. <laughs> Can you hear this? <laughs> Misty One, a.k.a. Madison. What's your favorite moment of the fucking finale? Oh my God. Oh my God. The baby. The baby. Um, <laughs> my favorite scene was, very sadly, Jackie dying. <laughs> Oh, I know it was R.I.P. Yeah. Again, loved it. Loved, <laughs> loved that Na- scene. Nature shitted on her. <laughs> <laughs> shitted. Um, but again, it was just, it was very sad. And then also the, the ending where, you know, Shauna finds her outside, very emotional. Um, and then I think it just kind of comes full circle of like why Shauna is so emotionally disturbed by, you know, the forest, um, kind of the relationship with Jackie's parents and just her relationship with Jackie in general. Um, but it, yeah, that's my, my favorite scene from the finale. Nice. Misty three. My favorite, Steve, <laughs> Steve, my favorite moment was the reservoir dogs walk into the dance or the reunion. Uh, it was so cool. Had a great song playing. They all look so awesome. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone's kind of, I love the way they edited like, they each got their own little like profile center of frame. And you can see like on yeah. the, on either side of their frame, like people looking at them just like, Oh, the yellow jackets, the titular yellow jackets of this show, the last <laughs> surviving yellow jackets. We didn't have another team after this. Oh, this is such a main character moment for them. Whoa. We are merely background characters in their movie. We thought it was Jackie's movie. It's their movie. Yeah. She did. Um, but yeah, I, d- I thought that was super fun and cool. I agree. Misty two. <laughs> yes. My number one is the, uh, I agree with Misty one, of course, who is our leader. Um, I agree that, uh, for me, Jackie's death scene, the way they edited that specifically, which I know you appreciate as an, an editor, uh, but the whole idea, the whole concept of them having that hallucination of hers, mm-hmm. uh, whether it be from the hypothermia or like whatever weirdness, magical shit is going on there. Uh, I guess it has to have something to do with that because the guy was in there. Yeah, right? who's that yeah. guy? The but also during guy. during that scene, she says, I'm really tired and I'm really cold. Like as they're giving her like the hot chocolate yeah. and as they're putting the blankets around her. They're like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about chocolate. it. What could possibly happen? It's so it has, fucking sad. It has shrooms in it. And then, <laughs> thanks for the hot chocolate. You're welcome. It's a family recipe. <laughs> What's the secret ingredient? Love. <laughs> Not death. Right? No, that's the opposite of what you would have put in coffee or hot chocolate. It's silly. <laughs> or whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, just the whole thing. It was, like I said, I was, it might be because it was like 1 30 a.m. or so by the time I finished the second one, but I was, or this morning. But I was a ball in like a baby. Yeah. Mewling. And then also I remember That's good baby. I remember watching it for the first time and really That's not expecting to see that dude there. I was like, 
Who the fuck is that? Scary guy. What if yeah. he's been there the whole time? Dude. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like part of the seasons. Like he was just recap. like taking a shit. And he's like, why are all these chicks in my house? <laughs> Do not go in there. <laughs> Snake for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. All right. That brings us to the Easter eggies for the Ooh. 1990s. I've got a couple this time. I got four. We'll go around the room Ooh. dropping one off at a time <laughs> until we run out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, start us off. Uh, I don't know if this is an eggie so much. It's just I found it interesting. Um, the title of the episode is called Sick Transis Gloria Mundi. Mm -hmm. which translates to thus passes the glory of this world. Mm. You know what that's from? No. They, so they use that at the coronation of a new Pope, mm. which I think refers to Lottie in this case. Wow. She's like their spiritual leader. Interesting. So she's Jude Law. She's the yes. young Pope. Oh. Or maybe she's two Popes. Two Popes, one cup. <laughs> 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 I saw you regret it um, like as you were saying it, but then the other part of your oh, brain was no. like, we're doing it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that joke. <laughs> I kind of just want to tweet by itself. Two posts, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll probably be the only tweet more than 30 people ever see. And I'll be like, fuck. <laughs> uh, any hoozle. Hmm. <laughs> Madison. Um, I forget who's, who references this. Oh, I think Ty says uh, something about Sporty Spice um, yes. from Spice Girls. Are you, you think? That sporty spice is underrated or something like that. Yeah, yeah. sporty spice is the best spice or something like that. Yeah. Spice Girls, what a classic. Spice Girls. It's hard to watch Spice World. That's a hard movie to find. It's not streaming anywhere. Really? Mm -hmm. Can't rent it. Maybe it's your local library. Well, <laughs> library. We got we to gotta tell Maybe you. Maybe it's the uh, local library. <laughs> we, we, are, we are wearing the perfect librarian outfit. We really, really are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you return those and be quiet when you're we in gotta here. We got to tell these here streaming services what we want, what we really, really want. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, heck. Me too. If you want to be my lover... <laughs> You gotta get down with my friends. Yeah, you have to fuck all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I never understood that song. <laughs> that's why that's that's what happened to Travis oh, last episode. They're Spice Girls fans. Yeah. It's all making sense. They're like, Makes guys, the now. lyrics. Did you guys read these lyrics? We Body, you're so smart. So smart. <laughs> wow. Also, the offspring. Yes. I forget which song specifically. Come out and play. Come out and play. So good. That's uh, another I love reason. The offspring. So the reunion entrance was on my list of my favorite scenes, but I, I was like, oh, I'm going to put it. I'm you knew we it. would handle it. Yeah. I knew yeah, you guys had, had it. it. I knew I, you guys had it. I like but, when we have different things because then we can like shed light on nine baller moments. Yes. But the come out and play song during that scene was phenomenal. Mm, chef's kiss. As they so say. So good. I Any loved offspring. the offspring's album smash. Uh, I, smash. 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 I listened to that. It was like the best car album ever. That, and I wasn't even old enough to drive yet, but I was, else, I was passenger is, so hard to that shit. What else is on that one? Self-esteem? <sighs> yes. All mostly most of the bangers. Okay. Except I think pretty fly for a white guy, like that kind of stuff. That came mm. later. That was, I think that was before then. Oh. Because I was in elementary when the pretty fly shit came out. Yeah, that, mm. yeah, I was too. We were just tots. We were just mere babes. You were a thought and we were a tot. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> a thought, not a thought. <laughs> Steve is shook it. Oh my God. My mom listens to this. <laughs> a <thought>. Suzanne? <laughs> yeah. Suzanne listens? Suzanne listen. Suzanne. Listen. Get it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hi, Sue. How you doing? <sighs> Steve? Oh, it's up to me. Uh, so in uh, the Sporty Spice segment, uh, she also references, you think Scully is good for Mulder. Too good for Mulder. Too good for Mulder, mm -hmm. which, true. Mm -hmm. But yes. also referencing X-Files, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Classic 90s sci-fi TV what, show. What, what, uh, they're out there? What is it? What's the slogan? I want to believe. Yes. I want to be. <laughs> they're out there. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> I've never actually seen X-Files. 
It's a good. It's but a I good. I love Gillian Anderson. It's a good uh, Monster of the Week show. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. What, episodic. Yeah. Some of those episodes scared the fuck out of me when yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like more than anything else ever. Mm-hmm. 100%. Mm. Do you have any more, Madison? I have written down in quotes beaches. Me too. I, I can't remember what that's from. You're quoting beaches to me? I meant to look that up as well. I think we both did the same thing. We were both like sick ass Easter eggs. It's a, it's, a, it's a movie. I'll Google it later. Okay. Is yeah. it star Christina Ricci? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's who does it star? Bette Midler. Oh, Bette oh, Midler. Big okay. fan. I think, yeah. Bette Midler, Barbara Hershey. Is it Marcy about the girl who heist or whatever the Christina Ricci was talking about? Hillary, played by Barbara Hershey and Cece, Bette Midler, meet as children vacationing in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and remain Just, friends throughout the decades as Cece allowed the no. New Yorker pursues a singing career. Hillary, a... You can tell it's boring because that long-ass synopsis. ...becomes a successful lawyer. <laughs> Over the years, they often quarrel or compete, but as their other relationships flourish and die, the two are always there for each other, <laughs> traveling from coast to coast with the most. I that's hated the, every I, minute I of that. that. Last, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the, that's what they were quoting was beaches. Part of me wishes that Christina Ricci, like as part of her being on this show, is the only 90s references you can give are references of my movies that I've been in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's That'd part be, of her contract. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Definitely don't talk about Bette Midler. No. No. I'm going to go in a letterbox because of the way you read that and give it one star. You're well, yeah, you're you're welcome, beaches. Yeah, beaches. Yeah, life's so, life's a beaches. Deal with it. There's but, a sequel. It's pretty good. Sons of Beaches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more uh, eggies? No more eggies for uh, me. Well, there's uh, always. Uh, wow. Uh, let me push up my spectacles. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have more music. Yeah, Lady yeah. Killers by Rush. Or Lush, not Rush. Lush. I was gonna say hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be sweet. You get Rush in here. Uh, slap it a yeah, slap it a bass. Rump shaker is the uh, the song. Excuse me. <laughs> That's the song that you referenced was like the the needle the cool drop. Tra- yeah. Oh, yeah. the cool needle drop was rump yeah. rump shakers. Rump shaker like by Rex in effect. Hell yeah, <laughs> Rex in effect. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. I also saw all that she wants by Ace of Base. Damn, is in there. Only Time by Enya was the Enya mm-hmm. music we were talking about. Oh. I Touch Myself by Divinals? 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 Yeah, yeah. Divinals. <laughs> when I think about you, I touch myself. It's a great song. Great and song. then Kiss from a Rose is also played in this episode. Oh, again, again. thank you. Madison again. was super hyped. <laughs> yeah, Madison, that's Madison's favorite song for those who missed last episode. Yes, it's yeah. my favorite. Love it. What's your favorite lyric? Kiss from a Rose. How does that lyric finish? <laughs> Don't do it to me. For every time you say that, I think of Hinder. Coming from the lips of oh. an angel. Good Bob. That's a good Bob. Oh, I'm going to listen to that on the You're way home. You're making me feel things right now. No, but they're- fucking pop it on WBN. It'll be on instantly. Hell yeah. Guaranteed. Hell yeah. It's either that or Buck Cherry. <laughs> Buck Ooh. Cherry. You're all crazy, man. The fuck's <laughs> all gonna on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> So Our uh, European listeners are like, what? Huh? <laughs> Pardon? Doesn't sound like music. It's so kind of. Anything that's, else? No, that's basically it for me. It. All right. Now it's time to cap it all off with our number one favorite performance of the finale. No pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. No pressure. Steve, speaking of pressure. Oh, let's throw it right back to you. Miss Miss Steve over here. Uh, I'm giving it to, I hope I pronounced it. You guys will correct me. Sophie Nelise. Uh, but yep. That's my assumption. Nelise. Sophie Nelise. Yes. Young Shauna. That's who I gave it to as well. Her friends mm-hmm. call her Young Shauna. Um, no, yeah, she's, I, uh, she's French. Is she she's really? French she's Canadian. French Canadian. Yeah. Which is basically French. Oh, well. There's no Canada like French Canada. It's the best Canada in the land. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Every other Canada is a pussy Canada. If you've ever been there, then you understand. Sorry, that's a... South Park. No, joke. you made that up just now. <laughs> just now. Uh, no, she was really great in this episode. Um, they really kind of gave her a good, meaty sort of dialogue-heavy scene with Jackie, where she's telling her off, and yeah, and then just the the sequence where she finds Jackie's dead body, and you just see like, oh, like everything. I really wish I didn't say all those things, and then stay up in the attic all night, and f- you know, fume and like, oh, I'm mad mm-hmm. because maybe if she had gone down there when Ty mentioned it. Jackie would still be alive and it was just really sad and her performance really kind of 
solidified that scene as a as the tearjerker it was. I agree. I uh, considered giving it to Juliette Lewis, but I, mm. I'm going to give it to Sophie Nelise. Sophie Nelise was also mine as well. All right. Wow. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yeah, we did it. Go team. So that's it. That's the finale. Now this we're looking finale. forward to season two. We got a few emails to read. This is part of the mailbag. Yes. If you don't want to talk about season two, you can tune out. Maybe just press a pause on this. Turn off a little bit. Uh, we got a couple emails to read and in doing and answering those those discussion points. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what we expect from season two, but it's not as interesting. Like I get, once I watched the the trailer, I was like, oh shit, I am way off. Um, Cause I didn't know they were going to make Lottie so quickly a force for good, right? Like in the trailer, like you see that, that Juliet Lewis is a okay, because that, that was a cliffhanger. What happened to her mm -hmm. and the trailer's like, fuck a cliffhanger. You've been waiting two years. Let's just get right into that. She's fine. Look, it's Lottie. Yeah. <laughs> and you, we see that Van's alive in the trailer. We didn't know that at all. Mm -hmm. This is wild oh, shit. Oh, did we? To draw, you should, there's a lady yeah. with a scar on her face in the trailer. The oh, wow. actress that plays her is Lauren Ambrose. Crazy sauce right in the trailer, man. Well, slap my butt. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know how that's going to help, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm down. Any hoozle, let's dive into some emails. Thank you to everybody who wrote in. And to those of you who did not, thank you as well, just for listening. If you're listening to this, we appreciate you. Yeah. As they say in uh, at ATN News and Succession, we hear for you. <laughs> and you two don't get that joke because you're uncultured swine. This yeah. first email comes in from, <laughs> I was going to try to let that hang and just keep going. <laughs> you stopped me there. This email comes in from Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, guys slash gal of streaming things. <gasps> you are the gal. I am the gal. It's three gals right now. It is three gals right now. I want to thank you for your coverage of basically everything. My workplace closed unexpectedly and I've oh, been no. looking for work. I don't want to spend too much money right now, so I don't have streaming services. Your scene by scene coverage of Yellow Jackets is amazing. Aww. Like I'm That's watching awesome. live and your commentary is talking is like talking about it with friends. I was able to see a free airing of the first episode, which helped me visualize who you're talking about. Mm. And I really like The Last of Us coverage, too. And I'm not even into gaming. I pretty much listen to everything you do and just love your passion, humor and excitement for all media. Thank you so much for what you're all doing, for saving me some dough right now and for giving me lots of laughs. I just oh, for sure. Thank you, Jennifer. I just wanted to read read this yeah because again the idea that somebody is like experiencing the entire story through our recaps is that's, amazing that's to me. awesome yeah yeah i really appreciate that i hope you were able to follow the story pretty well with our random tangents of bearing yeah. downs and yeah bear down that's yeah. the only thing she that's the name of every chapter in the book she's <laughs> creating in her head yeah <laughs> but she happy probably, we're saving you money girl Absolutely. I love that from her perspective, the bear down thing is such a huge deal, but literally they say it one once, time, it's not once. even that big of a deal. Bear down. Bear, bear down. down. <laughs> well, somebody taking a shit. Of course, we were going to latch onto that. Yeah. Uh, this next email comes in from Catherine R. Uh, hello, it's Hi, Kate Catherine. from okay. Madison, Wisconsin. <gasps> Damn. Serendipity. Madison, how does it feel to have your own capital? Yeah. City. And yes. I assume serfs that live there for it, that mm. you uh, tax. Yes, yes, you are their feudal lord. Yeah. Yes, I How does am. that feel? Feels empowering. Mm. I've been to yeah. Madison, Wisconsin. It's a great place. Oh. A lot of friendly people there. Really? They have cheese mm -hmm. there. They, they do. They, you, you I got cheese. Right. cheese. Curds as well. Courtesy love, of myself. I said mm -hmm. we will have Courtesy. cheese. Courtesy. Oh, well, allow me to thank you on behalf of everyone in the world. Thank you for cheese curds, Madison. You're welcome. You specifically. You're welcome. Much appreciate. You're welcome. But she goes on, and this is mostly for you, I think, though Madison might be able to help. I'm useless. Just wondering if you've noticed this about the song in the Yellow Jackets opening sequence. Does it sound like a super creepy version of putting on the Ritz? My husband pointed this out to me, and now I can't unhear it. Thanks for covering Yellow Jackets. I haven't heard of it before and probably never would have seen it if it weren't for the podcast. Thank you. We've been watching the show and then enjoying your recaps. Please keep sharing your joy of film and TV. So I ask you, Steve and Madison, Steve, who's very knowledgeable about like a little older music that I typically don't jibe to Madison may be, <laughs> but in my head, I can't really remember the jingle other than like, I guess I do have it. <laughs> I can't remember. It's a no return. No return. No, I don't, I don't hear it. No, I also, I think maybe it's like that. Maybe that part more than the no return part. We've never heard that. But next time I'll keep an eye out yeah. for when I'm jamming to well, it. Well, I need to listen to the the song that she says. Putting on the Ritz? Like, yeah. Putting on the Ritz. I, I know the oh. song, but I only know like the melody part or the chorus. 
Let's listen to it right now. Let's check it out. See if we can hear it. Yeah. So this is the putting on the Ritz by Taco. Here we go. Putting on the Ritz. Different types of wear with coat pants with stripes and cut away coat perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. What do you guys think? Do you, do you hear it? I'm trying to like no return, no return, no return. Maybe it's not the chorus. Play the theme Maybe. of her yellow jackets. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Like. I don't hear it, man. I got dumb ears. Fashion set. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. I, I think I can I, see some, like, I can understand where you would be, like, hear the similarities yeah where you could but get I'm, that i'm i'm dumb to music sounding similar unless it's like right in my face like hey music you're putting my shit right now <laughs> you're my shit right now music back up step off our next email comes in from jessica r hi i'm jessica hi jessica hi, jessica were you the fixer no mm. but we can't trust her now I'm a licensed therapist. Oh, yes, we can. And I, have <laughs> and I have experience with clients diagnosed with psychotic features. There is evidence-based research about the controversy of diagnosing patients with schizophrenia or schizotypal personality um, and not ruling out disorder and not ruling out clairvoyance. Uh, they take antipsychotics and attend therapy, but some still have delusions or hallucinations. What if Lottie still had visions, but hid it from everyone and took the meds to satisfy her parents and care team? Clients will often omit delusions because of trauma from past hospitalizations. She could have taken them out of habit or hiding it from her teammates as well. I can't wait to see Lottie present day. Did she take the meds when she got back? Did she embrace her gifts? Ah, uh, so many what ifs. Um, I think we kind of verified that she... Uh, if I'm reading that right, like she did still have visions and took the medicine to satisfy her parents. I, right. Yes. I, or, you know, her parents forced her to. Yeah. She was so young at that yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and I don't think from what we can see from the trailer, I don't think she embraced medication when she got back mm -hmm. or whatever. She was hospitalized in Sweden, Switzerland. We could see from the trailer briefly. Yeah. Um, but it looks like she's still going strong with the rune cult and, and all of her Which stuff that we can see now. Makes me wonder if she had a, a vision of not trying to kill herself, which is why those people were there to kidnap her, to take her away. To maybe save her from herself. We're mm -hmm. not done with you yet, Nat. Yeah. I, I don't, it's interesting. I don't think she must not be the one that like killed Travis or th that group must not be. Maybe they found right. him dangling after he committed suicide. She was trying to save his spirit. So she did the rune with the candles or something uh, um, that makes it look like she was involved, but she wasn't. And he did kill herself or something. There's still part of me that thinks that there is some sinister element to Lottie. Mm -hmm. Just the same as well, I think a, she's a Sith. The, right. I also think there's some <laughs> sinister. Always do there are. Sorry. There's sinister elements to Ty as well, which really is not reflected at all in her younger self, aside from her being in the tree. Whereas Lottie is more sinister in her younger and self. Beheading biscuit. Correct. And she's a bad painter. Yes. <laughs> well, so what would, uh, so this kind of circles back to something else of um, when Travis was murdered. What was Nat right about? Because that was the last thing he wrote. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said you were right. right, right. Well, yeah. I guess we didn't get there yet in the, like the the present timeline, right? Um, so we'll find out, mm -hmm. or in the in the past timeline. I mean, because I assume. Well, we don't know when the Travis saw them. They were together as adults a lot. So who fucking knows, man? But I'm wondering, like, what? I feel like so he he was he was killed and then hanged and then the symbols everywhere that's or very he, like or body centric himself. and she obviously has some sort of like cult of personality around her as well great song that's why she has uh -na 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 -na. <laughs> that's why she has uh like all these people that are following her i, I mean that kind of seems like maybe nat was right about something so now like next season i'm gonna be like what's young nat saying what does she say is, yeah. she, is she talking shit about lottie is That's she, part of what worries me so much about the five seasons. It's like, yeah, I don't want to wait that long for anything to pay off that I've already like questioned. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I want it, all new questions, if anything else, after season because two. Because to me, it's like it would be so anticlimactic for Travis to actually like for nothing to have really happened with that. To answer this woman's question, I don't think that uh, Lottie I think Lottie is definitely embracing her visions or at least the visions mm -hmm. that she thinks she is. But um, I, back on Travis, I think 
I think something sinister did happen. I don't think that he killed himself. Um, so maybe Natalie getting kidnapped was a red herring. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are there to help her. Right. Right. But also, um, she was trying to help Travis and there's a third party we don't know about yet that got to him first and killed him. Right. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. But there's also a part of me. And then this is just me theorizing maybe because there's a moment in the trailer where Natalie is resting upon Lottie's lap and then it flashes to adult Nat and young Nat. So maybe there's this element of hypnosis or this element of. I don't know, like maybe Lottie is still really bad, but is like using her, her, I don't know, is just convincing Nat of something else. Or like Natalie is so easily manipulative because of her. her She's alcohol. a gray Jedi is what you're saying. Yes. Yes. Mm. I'm just keeping it to where Steve can understand maybe what's going she, on. Maybe, I appreciate you. Maybe <laughs> Nat, <laughs> Nat is Ray. Nat is yeah. Ray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I explain all things to Steve in terms of Star Wars. You should have seen me explaining the birds and the bees. Yeah. I called it the X-Wings and the TIE Fighters. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> the, <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> the proton torpedo and the two meter wide. Yes. Extent. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> Any hoozle. But yeah, it's like, what was, what was that right about? I mean, that wasn't answered at all in first season, the first season. And then Sean is gaslighting the shit out of Nat. Like, yeah, Adam, you know, I don't know. He clearly Travis killed himself when really they really don't know. Like yeah. nothing really has developed with that plot at all. Yeah. Sean in that moment is just trying to get Nat yeah. off of it. Like, yeah, stop looking at this. Yeah. I killed this guy and Jeff's going to fuck us over. Which I feel like that is going to come up in season two. I also want to know when Misty is going to get called out for destroying the beacon at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's some, that's gotta come out eventually. Shit. I don't think they even to this day, I don't think anybody no, knows that. No. And I don't know how it would come out. Maybe. In a, in a, a, I can definitely see it being a moment where Misty just is like, you know, like trying to make it optimistically. Like, like the, no big the, deal. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I'll get it. Yeah. Yeah. Like good thing you know, I did that. Good thing I, know, you know, blah, blah, blah. yeah. That but, would be a total Misty thing mm -hmm. to do. And we would know. Yeah. Look at our hair. We wouldn't be us. such good friends if I hadn't destroyed the black box. Yeah. The transponder. And everyone's like, whatever they called it. The fuck, Misty? Yeah. This was all your fault. And she's going to have the deoxygenated bleach. She's all like, of them. Ooh, does anyone want some fentanyl? <laughs> yeah. Hope you may want a Siggy. <laughs> <laughs> our next email comes in from Brenda B from the Discord. Brenda B. Brenda B. Make sure you try to follow me here. Maybe it's not as hard as I thought when I read it after watching those episodes last night, but. Okay. Just stay with me. All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm Hello. probably too late. You weren't. Nope. I posted the observation on Discord and a link to a Reddit theory I found in this rewatch after realizing the mention of trigonometry. But I think trigonometry is going to play a role in, in them being found or rescued. Okay. In the first episode, when they're talking to people who knew the girls in the plane, they show an obviously retired trigonometry teacher like in the people being interviewed in the fake mockumentary at the beginning yeah um who says well, none of the girls did well in her trig class later in the episode adult shauna asks callie if she's able to take her trig test again then in episode three question mark some another episode at the beginning of that episode they've buried the remaining deceased from the plane it's um actually she says van but it's laura lee that says uh compliments the girl on doing so well in trig class um, never confused her secants and cosecants remember that oh yeah so that's yeah. what three mentions of trigonometry hmm. then when i realized uh the mention of trig so much and found the reddit theory uh, she started paying attention to more. And finally, in the last episode, Jeff and Shauna survived the high school reunion and they've settled down to watch TV. Callie comes home and uh, looks at her parents and says that she would like to join them, but has trig homework to do. Yeah. So anyway, there's a lot of trigonometry references. And the theory is they utilize that somehow to get rescued. I don't even know what trigonometry is. I was a liberal arts math guy. Some do <laughs> triangles. So yeah, maybe there's some it's triangulation. Like, it's like distance and uh, angular the stuff. The study of angles and other angular relationships of planar and three-dimensional figures is known as trigonometry. How does that help unless you're like on a boat? Which, so it's like sin equals AC over BA. Yeah, fuck that shit. Cos B See, equals really, AC over BA. I enjoyed trig in high school. I haven't touched math in a long time, but... Well, aside from when I did you look the at math, math, you're like, ew. 
No. When I did the math with the the soccer team total people, yeah. Crushed it. Yeah. Crushed it. But Six I think it's three. I think it's important to mention that like, you know, the symbol is a triangle. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. There's two, there's a, you know, a smaller triangle than a big triangle. I haven't read the Reddit theory, but maybe it's like they look at that symbol one day and one of them is like, oh, shit, Which, this is the map out of oh, here. We're idiots. Yeah, that rune if is we, like that. Can we, do we want to transition to the symbol a little bit? Because I have some thoughts. Share your thoughts. We love Misty no One's one, thoughts. No one has acknowledged the symbol except Lottie. If you look at any time that the symbol is like referenced or looked at, touched, it is Lottie. In the 1996 timeline. In the 1996 right? timeline. Interesting. Yeah. And then even in the trailer, the only person that is touching it is Lottie. So in my head, maybe it's a fragment of her imagination or it's, you know, clearly only visible to her unless until. Well, yeah, at some point we know the others can see it because right, it's because on the it's, postcards. Right. But are they, do they say, oh, this is the symbol from the woods? Yeah. Like Misty okay, draws okay. it on, um, remember she puts oh, yeah, all you're the, right, you're right, and there's right. no way she could have put those right, clues right, right. together no, like that, yeah, but right. it was <laughs> comical. But, oh. also, but also, so that's, that's my one thing that I've noticed that is weird, but I also, maybe this is a stretch, but I think it resembles a bee. Like if you look at it itself, the stinger is the hook. You have the wings and then. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just a coin. With the hook, it makes me think it looks, it, it looks like a shmee. Mr. Shmee. A shmee. <laughs> Mr. Shmee. <laughs> Thank you guys for not beating me up for that. Yeah. Oh, we will after we get done. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a bloody wig in a minute. You catch Thank me outside. How about that? Thank you. How about that? <laughs> Thank you, Brenda, for that email. Yeah, Our next Brenda. email to come comes in from Amelia. Let me let me see those suckers. You Can, want them? May I? Yeah. Mother, may I? <laughs> Isn't that a game? Yeah, it is. Oh, let's see. <gasps> <laughs> it, can he put on the glasses? <laughs> I can't get it in the. <laughs> there we go. I can't get them in, in, in my actual ear hole. Thing, <laughs> there you go. In my ear slot. You got them? No, look but at we'll you. just call it done. Oh, you yeah. You look great. You look mm, great. Fabulous. Audio listeners, I look great. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Amelia R. writes in, hi, wanted hi. to let you guys hey, know. I've been enjoying your Yellow Jackets recap so much. I forgot mostly everything that happened in season one. Me too. So I'm very happy I didn't have to rewatch myself, mainly because the show honestly scared the shit out of me the first time <laughs> and messed with my sleep. Very, very true. Very true. <laughs> I'm super excited for season two, but not looking forward to being scared and not sleeping again. That's okay. We'll be there for you. Worth it. I just wanted to read that to thank would, you guys. We would diffuse the, the scary moments with comedy. Mm -hmm. Just whenever you're watching season two of Yellow Jackets and you feel like it's getting a little scary, just, just say bear down. Oh, I thought you were going to say just bear. Okay. Just bear down. <laughs> just, just bear, bear down. down. What do you think I was going to say? That. And then I thought you didn't because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Like, just because there was one word between bear when I thought it was going to be bear, my brain turned off. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing was from Jennifer K. Did, did I say a word just now? Jennifer K. Before that, did I say, did I say email? I don't, I don't know what you said. I think I just said the, the next thing. Of a, I zoned <laughs> it out. I think you said the, the next, the next message. You look or so different without the glasses now that you've had the glasses on for so long. Yeah. Just imagine when she takes I, the wig off. I like, I like this. You like, you like it, girl. girl? I'm okay. just saying, you got like a like a Marilyn Monroe thing going on right now. <laughs> I, I don't know what I got going on, but anyway, it's fabulous. It's I love it. I love I it love with the glasses. It. Peep the YouTube if you haven't seen us yet. I know for real. Check it out. Jennifer K says, "Hi guys. Hi. Hey. I bought Showtime just for you. Damn it. So they should be giving you a cut. I wanted to read this for just that. God damn right. I, they period. Should. We agree. Yeah. Period. Uh, they should at least give us fucking screeners. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't get me started. A couple thoughts I wanted to share in case you do a Yellow Jackets mailbag. Lottie's pajamas are actually an Easter egg. That pink and white stripe was a print that Victoria's Secret was known for. And those silk pajamas were really popular. I had a pair myself. Ooh. Ooh dang. Does she say if they were comfy? I assume they're comfy. Were they the peak they're of luxury? Silk? Silky. Silk? Mm. Regarding Shauna and Jackie's relationship, this is something I think you would only get if you grew up before women started to really feel empowered. As a teenage girl, uh, and I think Madison said something to this effect at one point, but... As a teenage girl in the 80s and 90s, being able to command the attention, not that, being able to command the attention of popular guys was a form of power, sad but true, and I don't think it's like that anymore. 
I think Shauna screws around with Jeff because Jackie is the one who has the power and popularity and Shauna is the one who's always second. Taking her boyfriend is a way to pay her back for all the time she made Shauna feel like shit for not being as pretty and popular. It's a way for her to get the upper hand. I don't think she's in love with Jackie. I think she's competing with her in a way that has nothing to do with Jeff. It could have been anyone that Jackie was dating and Shauna would have slept with them. Any yeah. those are a few thoughts I wanted to share. Please do a lost recap so I can watch along. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> I really like that. I think <laughs> she encapsulated what I, I mean, I think that's a fair, fair assumption, sure. fair, fair thing too. I like the idea. And I think there's a lot of truth to that, even if it's not the only truth mm -hmm. that um, there's an element of revenge or spite to her sex with uh I Jeff. think maybe the initial, you know, I think the, the initial act of what Shauna was doing was probably maybe in alignment with that. Um, and then maybe she didn't end up falling in love with him. But again, there's also no re there's no evidence throughout this whole season where we see Shauna like actually loving Jeff. <laughs> like, I feel like there's yeah. not a moment where I'm like, oh, yeah, Shauna loves him. You know, clearly Jeff. Well, we get the weird sex thing where she's like, tell me you love me. Right. Yeah. That's all we get of that. Yeah. But again, I think it's. I think it can be related to this person. It could message. be, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, Jackie's boyfriend loved me. Oh, he yeah. told me he loved me. Mm -hmm. I'm into yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But um, I but definitely see where this Great this email, person. Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. Great, Thank you so much. Um, and then our, finally, Sean B. Hi, all. I love listening to you guys, especially with this show. I may have missed you guys talking about this, but did anyone catch how crazy the last scene was with Ty in the tree? Lady in the tree. I think that she does it most nights at Sammy's window, and that is who he is seeing, the lady in the tree. Being out in the woods for so long probably turns you into an animal, and she can't shake off those instincts. Keep streaming things. Sean, uh, I wanted to read this because uh, I think it's definitely Ty yeah. in the tree. Yeah. And I don't think it's the fact that she kind of developed that habit from being on the woods for so long. I think she's got something supernatural amiss with her that has stuck mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. and maybe was gone for a while. Um, like she becomes another person. Like that's why yeah. I really think the whole werewolf analogy with the wolf specifically with is intentional with Taisa. Yeah. Well, in the trailer too, there's a moment where uh, Ty is looking in the mirror and she goes to turn and the, the mirror version of herself stays still. So it's, Oh, in the season two trailer? In the season two trailer, correct. That's like a um, don't worry, darling thing. Yeah. Which I loved in that trailer yeah. too. Which I forget yeah. which episode it was where we we started with her in the tree, but she had a bite mark. And I think the bite mark was Biscuit. It was because mm. oh, it was probably the yeah. night that she, she was like, hey, don't cut my head off. Yeah. Mom. So I think that was that was the bite mark of mm. what. Yeah, yeah she just cut his head off and then thought, hey, I'm going to finish this night off with some dirt. Yeah. As yeah. you do. Cap yeah, as you off. do. Cap it off with some night digging. You know what I like with my biscuits? Dirt. Yeah. Dirt and biscuits. People usually go for biscuits and gravy. Nah. No. If I'm out of mustard. No. I, or I biscuits and tea. That's all the emails we have. Does anybody else have any predictions? <laughs> <laughs> any predictions for season two of Yellow Jackets <laughs> that you might want to get into? Um... Other than what we've talked about, um, I have I have a young lady. Yeah, I have a I have a prediction. <laughs> Don't young lady me. <laughs> um, and I think I've I've gotten this prediction from Reddit and maybe a couple of other sources, but um, it was interesting, and I I think there's some truth to it. But essentially, it's there. There's going to be two groups at play in the the '90s version, and it'll be like Lottie's the head of one group, and then Ty is the leader of the other group. And so it's like the separation of the two groups because one of them wants to believe in Lottie's stuff, and then the other one is wanting to be in aligned with all of the realists. Tysa was the Tysa that we know was not into that shit. Correct. And you think adult her is the same way, or this theory yes says yes and no. I think. Ultimately, I think there's going to be two groups in the 90s version. Oh, in the 90s in the version. The 90s version. But then the trailer kind of debunks that because you see them all running towards something in kind of like a Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 moment where they're all running into the field against something. Oh, maybe the two groups coalesce towards the end to fight a great, even greater enemy, you know. But mm. what is the enemy? That's still the bit like ghosts. They're fighting ghosts. They're fighting ghosts. Mm. ghosts. Look across that field. You see ghosts. 
<laughs> give, just, them, give them no quarter, for they will give you none as well. They're just fighting nothing. Just They're, They found more they, shrooms. Yeah, yeah. They're fighting me. Same they are. The pantry, like, all season, and they finally figured out I was there. They're fighting Javi. <laughs> yeah, well, did we see Javi in the, in the no, trailer? No, we still don't know where Javi is. It's one mystery, not I mean, solved. I have tons of questions still. Yes. We wanted to unpack those. Where's Javi? Where's Javi? Uh, who's the woman running? Um, is also, the pit lady real? Or is that the woman running? Right. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, what happened to Shauna's baby? Is that baby Callie? I baby. don't I don't think the baby is Callie. Because the time, no, the time no, no, doesn't no. work. I agree. I, we don't know. There's a look, look. Unless Callie, again, unless Callie is like 25. Yeah. I don't they, think that's possible. But I don't think that that's, that makes. That'd be hilarious. It would, I, Callie, yeah. I got bad news. I mean, Missy does have. You're actually not on my insurance anymore. You're not eligible. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I don't think the baby in the forest is Callie. I the think babes. it's. No, I think there, we have to steal ourselves for the strong likelihood that they eat that baby. I don't think they eat the baby. I've watched a couple of interviews with the creators of the show, and that has been brought up to them a couple of times, and they have said, no, we're not making them eat the baby. Sounds like something baby yeah. eaters would say. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to not give away. But then also maybe that's that's the, the play of the two groups, because maybe Lottie wants to do some ritualistic shit to the baby, and Ooh, Sean know what is would like... Be even cooler? What? Well, hear me out. Okay. All right, they have this baby, right? She thinks the baby's stillborn. She buries it. Ghost man, who frequently interjects himself upon this show now, <laughs> resurrects the baby. He's like the Werner Herzog of this. Like, I want to see the baby. And he raises like it. To see the baby. Now that baby, <laughs> that baby, this ghost demon feral baby would be like 25 years old and could show up in the show. Like, yeah. like Robin Williams at the beginning of Jumanji. So like Shauna, <laughs> Shauna having no idea. What year is it? That's what he would say. <laughs> like Shauna having no idea. Yeah. Wow. That would be wild. Wouldn't that be wild? That would be. You never named me. You never named me. I do my dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think it would be a cool, it would be a That'd very be a cool monster shocking, reveal. like, Shauna gets a knock at the door. They think it's the police. <sighs> I just but think the most fucked up to this idea ever. You did? Yes. Uh-oh. Share. I don't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he was 38. That's not oh. possible. Who? Javi? What are you talking about? You're talking about the coach? Adam. <laughs> oh, Adam. Adam was the baby. Oh. <laughs> Which I guess falls into my... My other question is, I don't think Adam is completely innocent. Either. No, that's another no, question. Is definitely not. Why was he at the, because they're not bad writers and that would be bad writing if he was just at that hotel in this giant city. Well, like, be, oh, hey. It would be bad writing if uh, Travis wasn't killed. If, you know, like they, they set up so much stuff for it to not be a bigger deal than it actually was. Well, they've, they've proven to be a deft hand at misdirection a la Jeff's character, right? Correct. So I expect some like, Shaking this hand over here, sure. slapping my ass with the other. And it's like, oh, you know, and I don't hate it, but I'm surprised. Right. Like, I don't hate it. I'm surprised. Right, right, right. Um, any other, Steve, you got any questions lingering as you go in, as we head in, as we barrel into, we bear down for season two? Uh, I mean, nothing, nothing as well thought of as you guys have. I'm just kind of enjoying the ride. I feel like based off the trailer, like even though Lottie has been committed to this, uh, institution, she clearly comes from money and probably is like Batman wealthy. And mm. even though she's in this situation, she can still like use her influence and money in the world. Maybe she was the one that got Ty's campaign to like win the election because she's funneling some money into that somehow. Maybe because it was all like, oh, she's gonna lose. She's gonna lose. Ty's gonna lose. Oh. But she didn't. That's true. That's, maybe there was that's more. kind of weird. So maybe that's also uh -huh. like Lottie is this character in the present day that's sort of pulling the strings and kind of being a, some sort of like cult leader still in the present day. 
Definitely a cult leader still. Yeah. yeah. So all the, I think all those people that took Natalie work for her. Yeah. And I hope she has a Batmobile to... type scenario. What if it's shaped like the rune? Into the Lottie. <laughs> Into the Lottie dinghy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Um, she doesn't like cars. Get out of my dinghy. <laughs> I am excited in the season two trailer. It does show them returning home. Like there is a scene where they're coming back from getting rescued from the forest. And I'm very intrigued. Really? Like the kids? Yeah. 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 There's a moment where they're like being escorted. Like you see, it's more prominent on Misty, mm -hmm. but they are. There's like reporters and yeah, shit. Yeah. They're reporters. There's like guards. Interesting. I wonder if that's just like a quick flashback because I really couldn't see them doing three more seasons without the younger actors at all. I don't know. Wild. Maybe. Be wild. Bye bye, Sophie Nelise. Bye bye, Sophie Thatcher. I don't think they would do how it either. Bye bye, Samantha Handwriting. How could you stretch the year and a half long storyline over five whole know. seasons? I didn't see Lost. Know? You did, buddy. You tell me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she just went. Mm. I mean, Lost didn't have a set. Like, I don't think they had a set. Like, they were missing for so many days. It was just kind yeah, of like, you were gone true. a long time. Well, because we can. They were like more like castaway. Like, yeah. He's we there can until assume he's not. now that. Real son. So they were out there for 19 months. So they essentially are going to have two winters there, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they've had the one, which is kind of what we're going into. Like this upcoming season is there the in, first winter. In, in the meat of the winter. Winter's so, Meat, which is my band name. <laughs> winter's Meat. <laughs> so I think, I mean, I think they could stretch it out, but that would be a lot of, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very curious, though. Five seasons does seem like a lot. Yeah. Maybe we won't stick to that. Maybe yeah. Not. Maybe they get canceled. Yeah. Not well. I not on our watch. I hope not. I hope not, too. Yeah. Well, that'll be a bummer to not get answers to all these crazy ass questions. This show is is one. It's nominated for seven Emmys on its first season and everybody loves this show. Yeah. Um, I think it's going the long haul and I'm really excited to be covering it with all of you. Thank you to everyone who wrote in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, you can do that anytime. It's dreamingthingspod at gmail.com. We appreciate all of you so much. Stick with us. We're going to be covering season two of the Yellow Jackets starting. Um, well, what would that be? The 27th. I believe March yeah, 27th, the our, Monday, mm -hmm, our first episode will drop. But again, we're going to be covering uh, Twister, The Matrix, dozens of other movies alongside that. And maybe some extra special episodes we've got in our pockets for y'all until then. So that's all the time we have for right now. My name is Chris. My name is Madison. I almost said Misty. <laughs> and I'm Miss Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Streaming Things. Thank you. Happy streaming. Sniper Tone here, and I've been instructed by the boys via radio to read you the brand new patrons in the month of March. These are people who have an extra set of mirth in their hearts, and they are truly the last line of defense between streaming things and a total economic collapse. So in the Try Before Deny section, I want to thank Luke and Sarah, Conrad and Trey Barrera. In the Marty B VIP section, we're, we're thanking Tamara. Oh, oh Tony's going to mispronounce this one, that's for sure. J Jir Latanowitz. Oh, I mispronounced that just like I misfire my rifle. Brianna Bernard, we thank you. Elizabeth Palmer, Josh Stitch, and John Ricker. Oh, thank you all so much. In the chocolate pudding producer sections, we have Lair Gillis. Maha Axholt. I probably missed that one too. Uh, thank you to Jordan C., Kelly Shartner, Natalie Cleland, Sonny. Oh, it has not been sunny here in quite some time. Thank you to Wayne Yopst. Oh, I think the world has passed Tony by. Tony does not know what that word is. Yopst. Uh, thank you to Shotzi, Brock Borick, Alicia Takahashi, Gabe Quentin Vassa, Teresha Schwimmer, and Rob Westendorf. And last but not least, we have our friends don't lie to thank. Those friends are Taj Ala and Melissa Worcester. You know what old Tone used to shoot a war a win a Worcester back in his day? Or was it a Winchester? I don't know. I'm sniper tone. My mind is frail. I gotta get back to protecting Kansas City. What? It's already on fire. Oh, Tony, you done it again.